change the narrative. Now discuss about the plight of Kenyans. Let's maintain our conversation here bottom up. In any case, by the way, Your Excellency, ile conversation mimi niliona jana ili ni motivate zaidi. Wakati ninaambiwa kwamba askari wanajunga shamba yako wa poultry ya kuku. Mimi nafurahia sana my friend. Hiyo inaonyesha wewe ni hasla. Umetoka chini umefika hapo juu na walikuwa wanatuambia hauna biashara umeiba. Sasa wametuambia uko na biashara nyingi. Sasa tumejua mahali pesa inatoka. Sasa Sasa all along they've been telling us stories. Oh, hiyo pesa inatoka kwa serikali. Hiyo pesa inatoka mahali. Sasa jana walituambia David President akona biashara fulani akona biashara fulani so there is an element of business na tumejua mahali pesa inatoka kwa hivyo mkimuona akifanya kazi akikutana na watu akienda ku support hasula sasa tumejua mahali pesa inatoka stop kuweka fitina mahali haiko ama namna gani na hiyo nyingine niliona your excellency kwa sababu mimi nimekuwa karibu na wewe miaka nyingi na nimetembea na wewe niko na privilege ya kutembea niliona wakati nilitembea kwa poultry farm niliona kuku nyingi wakati tu umenitembeza mahali pingi nimeona maneno nyingi lakini ile kitu your excellency ulisahau sijui kwa nini ulisahau ya kwamba uko na shamba la ikipia ADC 15000 acres na mimi najua hiyo ni uongo kwa sababu hujanitembeza hapo mpingine utatuambia hiyo shamba hiyo shamba tafadhali kwa sababu ulipewa jana enda uchukue title kwa sababu sasa there is nothing like that mtu anaspeana 15000 mpaka unadanganya askari wanachunga shamba ambayo haiko hata deputy president ajui mahali iko hiyo si yake unasema mmeweka askari hapo we need to stop this petty politics with officers at manana ya deputy president peke yake let's talk about the real issues now tuongee juu ya hao watu ambao wako hapa tuongee vile kura zitachungwa next year tuongee vile peace itamaintainiwa next year wakati wa election alafu tuongee juu ya job seeking ya vijana ambao wako hapa alafu tuongee juu ya taxation lakini mkianza kuongea juu ya property tutauliza maswali nyingi tunajua watu wengi ambao wako na askari hata 1500 wasi mtuambie ukweli hata president ako na askari 1500 wanamchunga mbona tunasahau hiyo mpaka mtoto wake ako na watoto wa askari paka mama yake ako na askari paka kila mtu ako na askari paka ndugu zake paka waacha bwana alafu una target tu mtu mmoja tu hapa eh hao watu wote tukianza kuongea kila mtu paka huyo waziri mwenye alikuwa anazungumza yeye mwenyewe ako na askari wangapi tukianza kuongea kabla hajaingia kwa hii kiti ya CS alikuwa na property ngapi na sahii ako na ngapi na zinachungwa na akina nani you know we shouldn't be personalizing everything now and by the way we need to ask ourselves this question mimi nimesoma katiba sana mimi ni wakili and the inspector general under article 245 in fact inspector general of police is an independent office akiketi hapo hachukui direction kwa mtu yote in fact the constitution is so particular that the cs will give lawful orders that is article 245 to the ig lawful orders Not, actually ni on policy not in terms of enforcement of the law na vile atapanga kazi yake when you see a cs going to respond about ku change askari askari kwa ofisi ya deputy president then hiyo ni siasa tu because it is actually the ig who is supposed to answer queries about deployment and redeployment it is not the cs tafadhali tuache ku polarize country we have been given an office how can you tell us that it has taken you nine years nine good years after deputy president and abakuwa deputy president for nine years to realize that ni gsc wako kwa gate it takes you nine years kukundua hiyo then you are very incompetent honestly that 10 months towards elections you realize that aya suddenly this guy has got gsc officers 10 months towards elections now listen that narrative is old and it's fake na tunaijua and there is no way a cs can give a statement yenye pia tulisikia 2 weeks ago from a presidential candidate anaitwa Kalonzo Msioka the same statement kwani hakuna original mulikopi huyu alitoka wakati kwa DCI akaongea the same thing na huyu wakati akienda kwa wabunge aliongea the same thing i mean every kenyan can know this is normal politics and for us we do not want to go that direction in fact Your Excellency Deputy President is a vitu hata usiende hiyo direction sisi watuambie ADC watuambie kuku in fact tutaenda huko tukule mayai tutakuja hapo sasa nasikia mayai ni mingi sana ukituambia juu ya eh, hoteli sijui eh, Mombasa sasa tumejua mahali pesa imetoka wacheni vitisho change the conversation from William Ruto to the hustlers we've taken enough of William Ruto 
Kenyans will decide. Na sisi ambao tumeamua, you can't change us. Kesho, toa askari hapa, vile deputy president alisema, weka G4S. Mukiona G4S ya itoshi, achana nao kabisa, atuna shida, sisi hasla sura mchunga, my friend. If you believe it's a favor to give deputy president officers, please take them. If you really believe it's a special favor you give to deputy president, take them. Like you know, my friend, amujiu kusimama kiti si raisi. Jaribini kusimama my friend. Si kitu raisi hivo. Unafikiri kuangea na hawa watu na raisi na mna hiyo. Wewe unatoka tu from nowhere wakati mtu wamechaguliwa unafikiria you can come to undermine. When you see a CS appointed by the presidency where the deputy president sits anakuja on national TV to undermine deputy president. Then you start telling us deputy president Aishim Rais. Kwani wakenya ni wajinga wajuu nani Aishim Rais na deputy president? Hapana bwana. Hii kitu hatutaki asira for now lakini waache mchezo kutuchezea. We support deputy president regardless of anything. Ni akina nani wana support nione kwa ishara ya mkono. Muna support? Mutafuata hiyo ukora ambayo mmesikia? Mutafuata hiyo vitu mulisikia jana? And that was a self summon. Hakuna bunge ili summon eh, waziri Matiangi. He summoned himself. Alisema andika barua ni kuje, ni peane property. Kitu alisahau, alisahau kujua, kufanya research. Kujua hii siya hii, hii siya hii. Muna nalea kujishutu kwa mgu buwana. Jifunze, jifunze siyasa buwana. Si, pa, 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 Lakini pia mweshimi wa rafiki yangu wa soro, umenichomea picha. Umesema mimi ni mwanaume na buwana yangu wakawapa leo. <laughs> but I had hoped to say that before he walked back in. So, <laughs> I, I also made mistake moja na munisamehe. I stopped the aspirants at MP. Kuna aspirants wa senate. Nilisa house. Munisamehe. Na wa women rep, na wa governor, karibuni ya raka haraka. Quickly, na wa governor pia, na hata wa president. Kuna watu ya tatolewa hapa bila vihatu. <laughs> hari, hari, hari. Na tafadhali muharakishe, just your name and what you're running for. Uh... Our deputy president, William Ruta, our incoming governor, Madam Susan Kiheka. It's a pleasure to be here with the fellow Aslas. Uh, I am Flora Kiproprono, vying for the Nakuru Women Rep Seat 2022. And I have one message for the men and one message for the ladies in this house. And the message is because of our deputy president and the message is this when the israelites uh, were uh, were fighting the when the palestinians were fighting the israelites moses was there fighting and when he got tired there was a man who was holding his hand can we remember the name of that man who was holding moses hand yes was it joshua or aaron it was Aaron. He was holding Moses' hand. And right now, our, 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 our deputy president is, is undergoing so much. And so, the man here, I'm giving you an assignment. Anytime you hear a stone being thrown to his, his side, please hold your hand on behalf of the deputy president. The women, I'm telling you this. There is one lady called Hannah. She was barren. She prayed in the temple until uh, uh, Samuel said she was drunk. But she wasn't drunk. She knew what she was praying for. And so the ladies, let us go on our knees and pray for who? Our deputy president until I in 2022 as our president. God bless you so much. Kwa sababu ya munda mungu ni muema? Murega. Ndiya muri. Yom netugul. Kwa majina na ito Jennifer Kajuju Cairo. Kutoka na kuru la reward na gombania hito kiti cha Women Rep 2022. Our Deputy President, na Madam Susan Tunawambea pia. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What are you saying? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hamjambo. Our 
rais wetu to be nataka usome kitabu cha first john 47 nataka kusalimia ulikuwa mbunge wangu huko Eldoret sasa niko huku Nakuru Rongai naitwa Anjeri Geshege unasimama kitu gani usimami nataka kusalimia <laughs> lakini nyinyi mumeanza tricks na mujue tukimaliza kila mtu atapigwa picha na his excellency kwa hivyo msisumbuke sana haya unasimama hata wewe nitasalimia acha mjoke mjoke bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe ah kwa majina anaitwa thomas mwangi ah navai senate 2022 ah neno moja tu ah naombea deputy kiti yako mtu asikutishe madam susan enda juu we ndo mama tupe vijana hata sisi tufanye kazi ya senate asante bwana sifiwe our deputy president mimi ni justa sekeno na mimi ni chama ya Turkana community diaspora na kushukuru sana langu tu tu tunasema ya kwamba sisi kama jamii nilitumwa nikushukuru wakati tulikutana na wewe ulikuja bahati na tuko hapa leo kuwakilisha minorities na tunashukuru sana eh, our incoming governor kwa sababu ya kujumuisha jamii yote lakini kuna kitu moja tu nataka ni niseme our deputy president simama imara kwa sababu hata sisi wengine wale ambao tumekuwa huko chini tumeumia kwa sababu ya kukusupport mimi nilikuwa nimeandikwa kazi na atoli na wakati tulikoost bahati alinifuta kasi kwa sababu ya kusimama na wewe na alikuwa amesponsor mtoto yangu akatamineti aka, aka your sponsorship kwa hivyo wakati unapata shida hata sisi huku tunapata shida lakini tunajua serikali ijayo tutabuni pamoja na tutasimama na wewe ni malisia your excellency Awa incoming governor anajua tuko na harambe ya jamii tarehe 25 mwezi wa tisa na uliongea na Chris na Kuleo ukatuambia tuunde kwa hivyo na kuomba kwa hiari yako ukuje kwa hiyo harambe tumeita jamii yote ili uongee na watu yako asante sana Mungu akubariki Sasa watu wanakuru si mnajua ile unajua tuliposema aspirants hata mimi siningesimama lakini si mnajua lakini upande wa Kirinyaga kuna mama mmoja huko sijui kama mmemmsikia mwenye pia yani ni general kubwa sana ya hii hasla Gereshe wa Goi wa Gereshe karibia Your Excellency na watu wanakuru oye. Watu wanakuru oye. Haya simameni ni tuimbe ka wimbo moja ya Mungu. Wa milele wa milele Mungu wa baraka ni nani? Wa milele wa milele Mungu wa baraka ni nani? Azungukia maisha yangu Azungukia maisha yako Asanteni sana kaeni Nilikuwa nataka niseme hayo Your excellency I want to thank you and I want to thank the people of Nakuru Because Nakuru city ndio mahali ambako ya kwanza mulienda mkainua mikono mkaomba Mungu mkasema kwamba tunahitaji kiti in 2013 kiti tulipata ndio aula lakini vile maneno imeenda mimi ningependa niseme wale wanaomba muendelee kuomba because maombi ndio imetufikisha mahali tume and because haslas we believe in the bible na Biblia inasema kwa kikuyu ndiyo inanipendeza sana 
ate ngai ni athoire irimo iguoya na na ke ate na ke na igota neguo hustlers they are not lazy hustlers are courageous people hustlers love god and they pray mimi ningependa niseme muendele na hiyo moyo that is the only way we are going to get presidency in 2022 hiyo maneno ingine ya watu wamehemehe our busy bodies wacha neni na hiyo let us concentrate and focus on real issues facing the Kenyan people kuna watu wako na njaa covid inaua watu There are so many issues. Hospitals have gone down. Lakini watu nikukimbia tu huku anatuambia sijui BBI imekufa ili kufa we forget about it. Si ndio hiyo? Let us concentrate on matters Kenyan people and building our economy. Full stop. Si ndio hiyo? About my sister here. I have never seen such an honest person sijawahi ona mtu anaongea ukweli ikupendeze isikupendeze ni shauri yako lakini anakuambia ukweli ako hapa i have never met a girl ambaye dignity yake iko mahali ingine she has taught me so many things this lady jamani watu wanakuru vile mmeshikilia susan mpaka kenya mzima imesikia hiyo mgurumo yenu ya Susan Kihika na waomba muendelee nayo I know Susan is a hard worker ni mtu ambaye atawapeleka mbele ni mtu ambaye ata make sure Nakuru will be the shining star of this republic Jamani mtaachilia Susan Si mnajua vile naapenda akiamka ni Nakuru Akikula lunch ni nakuru, akilala ni nakuru. Hata kuota anaota? Kwani mnataka nani mwingine? Si ni mtu kama Susan? Aki mimi mkichagua Susan, sababu najua when she's being sworn in, I'll be sworn in on the other end. We will make sure. Hata hata panataka kuomba Susan, niletee vijana wacheze football, tukue na, na exchange match program. Eh? Wanakuru wakuja Kirinyaga weekend moja, Kirinyaga wakuja Nakuru weekend moja. Si ndio namna hiyo? Na hata tufanye competition ya kwaya tuone nani wanajua kuimba kuliko wengine. Ama namna gani? Eh, ndio tuendelee ku preach maneno ya Hasla Nation. Na ndio hiyo ndio deputy president akishika hii mkondo tutaenda pamoja because he is a tribeless man. Si mnasikia vile anaongea kikuyu vizuri? tunampenda sababu when he puts his mind on anything it happens so i beg you watu wa nakuru mshikilie hawa hawili ndio tuweze kuendeleza hii agenda yetu ya bottom up economic model mbele na sisi zote tuweze kukalia hizi viti na tuongoze Kenya vile inafaa hao watu wa inwendos wakae nyuma asanteni sana bwana wabariki Asante sana wangoi naona Mungu akitujalia hiyo COG itakuwa female sana vizuri kabisa sasa kuna another group nataka wakuje wote hapa there are four of them wakuje haraka haraka tu a minute a minute each uh, mheshimiwa wetu Zuki mheshimiwa Pogba mheshimiwa Edi na mheshimiwa Mama Lilian the sitting MCAs haraka haraka one minute each najua mnakuwaga faster UDA UDA Kazi ni kazi First and foremost our deputy president and the fifth president of the Democratic Republic of Kenya tunasema asanti kwa kuweza kutupa nafasi tufike hapa siku ya leo Ya pili ambayo tunataka kusema hapa siku ya leo We support the hustler narrative not because we are blind but because we believe in it 
na sisi tumejua mambo ya hasla narrative through Susan Keeka ni kweli tuoneshane kwa mkono kwa hivyo nauliza tu na Kuru County mimi kama kiongozi pale we cannot discuss on matter pertaining budget kama atupati pesa kutoka national government nani anatupigania national government tuseme tusikie nani anatupigania national government pesa inakuja wapi kwa hivyo tunataka ule ambaye amekuwa akipigania pesa national government this time round 2022 akuje atekeleze si ni kweli tumekubaliana nikimalizia kwa wale kumi deputy president ambao walisaidiwa mmoja alikuja kusema asanti mimi ninasimama hapa kusema asanti uleza kukuja ward yangu ya flamingo ward full gospel na mheshimiwa david gikaria baba yao aliweza kutuitishia kitu ambao litupa shilingi 1500 nataka kusema asanti na report vitu mbili tulifikisha ujumbe wako na walisema asanti na wakasema uko hiyo town ni yako na ukaribia siku nyingine nikimalizia we are saying as hasla uh, nation because we believe in god proverbs 69 atuambia man plans his own course but god directs their step your steps are directed by god this is nakuru the heart of kenya when you see nakuru you see blessing when you see nakuru you see favor therefore make uh, we are with you and forever with you until the end god bless you na asante watu wanakuru na tusimame na viongozi wetu na wapenda bwana yesu asifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe hebu tupungiane yani bwana yesu asifiwe asante sana naibu rais na governor wangu mtarajiwa leo ni siku ya awa masala zangu ilikuwa siku yao leo sisi ni kuja kushuhudia lakini nataka ni kwamba your excellency sisi kama watu wa west sisi tumekushikilia na tumemshikilia governor wetu mtarajiwa na sisi tunasema sisi ni watu asala watu wa nakuruwest tamu jambo wacha niwaone watu wa nakuruwest asante sana wewe tolangati paul asante uda uda nipungie mkono tafadhali kama unaniona your excellency our fifth president our governor Susan Kiika mimi niko hapa kusema asanti sana kwa sababu ya kile mambo mlifanya London nyinyi ni watu wa nguvu wacha niseme London wiribaro iribeba ndovu wiribaro iribeba ndovu na mimi nawaambia wiribaro itabeba chungwa. Ama namna gani? Your Excellency tulipigwa tear gas London. Na mimi nimejaribu kuongea na hii watu wetu. Na nimewaambia London kutakuwa free and fair nomination. Na na mheshimiwa mwenye alikuwa upande wa jubilee ako hapa. Njoroge simama. Simumuona nyumba bado na kukua kubwa. Sisi tumesema tutafanya kazi as long as UDA in expand. Mungu awabariki. Na mama tuko nyuma yako na atu, atu, aturudi nyuma. Nipatie dakika moja tu ni recognize wazee wawili. Chairman Nguruna, simama. Yeah. Na mzee Zakayo Walif... na mzee Kariko walifanya kazi mzuri sana ya kunishikilia mubarikiwe sana Asanti Zuki, Asanti Pogba na Asanti Edi vijana hatari lakini mumeona tuko na many aspirants kwa hivyo tuji prepare all of us naona itakuwa ngumu round hii but we shall be well sasa there are two people nataka waje hapa haraka haraka wa kwanza ni mzee wetu Zakayo 
uh, and then our chairman of UDA, Guruna, be ready to simamisha two team yako just to stand up, and that will be it. Mzee Zakayo, karibu. Hamjabu wote. Deputy President, nasema asanti kwa kutuita hapa siku ya leo, and I'm very happy. Mwaka wa 2018. Mwa, uh, mwezi wa januari, iko neno moja nilisema. If it was not the deputy president, tungetua wapi kula ya kutosha. Kwa sababu, muganga wetu alikata sisi, mudavadi alikata sisi, kalozo wakakata sisi, ulikufa na sisi. Anayekufa na wewe, na, na wewe diyo wetu. Ni wetu wama siyo wetu. Mambo yako hapo na tunasema asanti sana. Na tunashukuru sana kwa kupata hii kiti ya London, tulicheza short purchase katika ile kiti ya London na tulikuwa tunacheza usiku nikaeleza hawa watu wetu wa London kina Kaliko kina Zuki if you shout hii kiti hatutapata saa 11 tunatembelea nyumba moja moja nyumba nyumba moja moja ndio tulifanya kupata hiyo kiti na yarama anakaa pale akitia watu pesa tukasema wakule na maneno hii kile tukapata asanteni sana na Mungu amesaidia sisi na sisi Tunajua siku hii inakuja. Deputy President, tutafauru na tutashida na tuko pamoja na mungu. Na nyasema asanti. Asanti sana. Aya, nakuru county, kwanza mjipigie makofi. Katika UDA, we are number one in Kenya. Sawa. But bado hatujafika kwenye nataka tufike. We need to register about another 150,000. Lakini chia manuetu mwenye mekua kijitolea kabisa from Monday to Sunday na kila siku ni guruna, guruna kuja hapa usalimie watu wanakuru na usimamisha timi yako. Haraka one minute. Wana Yesu wa Sifiwe, our deputy president, tunakushukuru sana for your encouraging words na tunasimama na wewe. Uh, nataka kusimamisha coordinators wangu, subcounter coordinators, mahali popote muko, tafadhali simama, tuko na kibet, Tuko na mandame, uh, uh, ma maasai pare, tuko na chebol, tuko na zakayo. Na tuko na mandame Grace. God bless you so much. Na, na Kuru County is reading in the Republic of Kenya. Tumefika 25, uh, tuko na county tante mungine, sub county mungine uh, minor, na Kuru East. Na Kuru County inaongoza uh, katika registration ya watu. Right now, your excellency, tumefikisha 25% of the registered voters, and that is almost 250,000 people. Wamba wana tufuata nyuma Nairobi County na tumuapetia difference ya 50,000 diyo watufikie. Kwa hivyo tunafurahi sana na tunaenderea mwezi huu tunataka kufikisha difference hiyo ambayo imebaki tufikisha watu eh, milioni uh, 300,000 na tumetangaza hivi. Na vile tumetembea 1,700 pooling stations zote zina resonate Madam Susan na William Samoy Ruto. <laughs> na hapo, hatu, hapo hakuna, your excellency, iyo kitu ya nakuru imeisha. Ni wewe na Susan keheka na mambo imeisha. Na nimesikia mungina mesema kiongozi boro. Nagekaria. Eh, nagekaria. <laughs> Aya, baba yao. Na tena, kuna mungina alisema... Kiongozi boro, tafadhali ibu simama kwa hesima. Huyo mzee, amesimama pamoja na sisi. Na your excellency, walisimamisha kitu na hitu wa registration bureau, wamesimama nayo, na diyo tunaendaga nayo ground. Na diungeomba kiongozi boro, hata kama hata pata hiyo governor, apewa minister of finance. Hiyo itamutosha, na tutaenderea sawasawa. God bless you so much. Simutasimama na madam. Tumasimama, ke, tunasema nikeheka. Kabisa. Ebu inuwa mukono? Aya. Na kama hujafanya, uh, if you are not registered, itafadhali. Ushitoke hapa kwa deputy, kama hujakuwa registered. God bless you. Aya, santi sana. Sasa, kuna rafiki yetu sana alikuja wakati wa London. Wa London. Na ametoka upande wa nyeri. Najua muna mjua. Regathe, gashagua.
Asante asante gavana wetu. <laughs> uh, mheshimiwa naibu rais na viongozi wenzangu watu yanakuru wa mjambo. Mulega. Asanteni. Uh, ningetaka kuchukua nafasi hii kumshukuru naibu rais kwa nafasi nyingine tena kwa kupata nafasi ya kukaa na wakenya. Sisi wa excellency tunaulizwa ni kwa nini tunakaa karibu na wewe. Tunakaa karibu na wewe kwa sababu wewe unapata nafasi ya kuongea na wakenya ujue shida zao. Kwa sababu kama ukai na watu ujue shida zao utapotea. Na ndio wale ambaye hawakai na wakenya wanaleta vitu kwa wakenya hazina maana kwa sababu hawaelewi. Kwa hivyo tunakushukuru na uendelee kukaa na sisi hata tukikuchagua mwaka ujao kama president kwa sababu yeye watu yanakuru ile state was yanakuru uirudishe vile ilikuwa wakati ya moi ndio hawa unamalizana nao huko na sisi utamalizia sisi huko sagana na hapa Nairobi so hii watu watutaki kuona hawa hapa tena mpaka next year waende huko nakuru your excellency sisi hatuna maneno tungetaka kuuliza hao viongozi ya nakuru safari yetu ya kuunganisha Kenya ilianza nakuru tulifanya maombi pale mchana na dio tunasema wale wanasema ati kulikuwa maagano ya uhuru kenyata na William Ruto hakuna maagano ilikuwa ya sisi wote kwa sababu tulikuwa pale na kama wewe na rais mtaondokea hiyo maagano sisi hatuwezi ondoka kwa sababu tulikuweko na ndio watu wengi wanauliza watu ya Mount Kenya bona wanakatalia hapo ni kwa sababu sisi ni wakristo na sisi ni wangwana na sisi ni watu ya kuongea ukweli tulikuwa pale na kuru na tukakubaliana tuka hakuna sababu yoyote imetokea ya kufanya sisi tutoke pale kwa hivyo na kuru tungetaka kuomba nyinyi kama viongozi muongoze Kenya tutimize maagano iliyofanyika na kuru na hizi shida mingi sana tumepata Kenya your excellency ni kwa sababu wewe na mkubwa wako mlikuwa mmetuambia mkifaulu tutarudi pale na kuru tufanye maombi na hatukurudi hii shida ya Kenya itaisha tukirudi pale na kuru tufanye maombi na wewe unatosha kama bosi yako hataki kuja kwa hiyo maombi wewe tutakuwa hapo na wewe tufanye hiyo maombi ndio iishe na nimekufurahi watu wameanza kujua maana ya maombi huyu Raila Odinga amepiga kanisa mwaka 30 haidangi kanisa haombi tumeona ameona bila kwenda kanisa atazama akaona hii BBI imezama amejua suluhisho ya kila kitu Kenya hii na dunia ni kwenda kwa Mwenyezi Mungu Tumeona yeye kanisani akiombewa. Hata akasema ameokoka. Hata kama alikuwa ameokoka pale kwa Margaret Wanjiru siku nyingine pia ameokoka tena. Na ni mzuri. Lakini pia tunataka kumuuliza Raila, kama wewe ulikuwa unapiga kanisa. Na sasa umeona uende kanisani. Na hizi kanisa silijengwa na wanaume wengine. Siuheshimu hii wanaume walijenga hizi makanisa. Tena uombe msamaha kwa makasi wetu kwa vile uliwapigia kelele na umejua solution ni kuja kanisani umekaribishwa lakini ya bwana kuja umetembea kama miti hizi makanisa inahitaji kazi mingi uwezi kuja tu atakuombewa alafu utoke uende unajua juzi juzi hao watu yote wameanza kufuata naibu wa rais kanisani wengine hawaelewi mambo ya kanisa Huyu Gideon Moi alikuja kanisa pale kwetu Chaka. Unajua hajui mambo ya kanisa? Amekuja kwa sababu ameona hii kanisa kama ndio nasaidia naibu wa rais. Lakini haelewi. Sasa hajui ile utaratibu ya kanisa. Hajui mambo ya madhabahu. Amekuja kwa sababu ndio mgeni ya heshima. Amepita straight ile kiti ya bishop aelem enda amekalia. Alikuwa anafikiria hiyo ndio kiti ya mgeni wa waheshima haelewi haelewi hana habari 
kwa hii mambo ya kanisa kwa hivyo tunataka wale viongozi akina Raira akina Gideon akina Mudavadi wameona waanze kuja kanisani wakuje hapa kwa William Ruto seminar ya wiki moja wafundishwe hii mambo ya kanisa kwa sababu saa hilo naenda pale kukalia kiti ya bisho kwa sababu hajui na haelewi eh? mimi your excellency sitaki niseme mambo mingi unajua kesho ni friday na mimi ni mtu ya kushikaa kwa friday sasa mina, na kuna mambo tumepanga weekend hii sitaki yaribike sasa mimi naweza sema maneno alafu wananichukua kwa friday wananiweka saturday wananiweka sandi wananiwacha jumatatu lakini hata Yesu Kristu aliwekwa pale kwa msalaba akakufa Friday akalala Saturday Sunday Monday akafufuka akaenda mbinguni kwa hivyo so niseme tu hata kama huyu Matiangi atatumana nichukuliwe huyu Matiangi atachoma nchi hii na president wetu Uhuru Kenyatta huyu Matiangi unamwamini huyu ni mtu iko na madharau na kiburi. Sasa deputy president ako na shamba yake pale Sugoi. Kuliko aseme boma ya deputy president Sugoi inalindwa na askari waine anasema ni shamba ya kuku. Kwani wanataka deputy president akae huko bila ngombe, bila kuku, bila mbuzi. Si hata umbo anaweza kuwa naye. Sasa anasema ati kwa deputy president hapana state house, hapana state lodge ndio hapana lidwa na GSU mimi nauliza kwa Matiangi iko GSU ni state lodge na kwa Raira na kwa Kalonzo na kwa Musalia Asiku, asichukue sisi kama ni watoto ile sarkasi walilete pale bunge amefanya mzuri kufungua chapter tuanze kuongea mambo ya mashamba na hiyo tutaanza kuongea mashamba ya maumau ilienda wapi ilienda na nani hii mashamba iko na kuru ya maumau mwenyewe ni nani na iko GSU ngapi Hii mashamba ilikuwa ya maumau hapa Kahawa iko ni ya nani iko na askari ngapi Hiyo chapter wamefungua ni mzuri na kuanza weekend hii tutaanza kujadiliana kujadiliane kujadiliane kwa sababu si iko topic mzuri hiyo Hiyo topic ni mzuri ni topic mzuri tujue mashamba ya maumau ilichukuliwa na nani na ni kwa nini na inalindwa na nani kwa hivyo yeye akifikiria ati kuna maneno analeta hiyo chapter tulikuwa tumenyamaza hiyo chapter tutaingilia watu yanakuru mtakaa na amani mmefurahia amani nyinyi watu yanakuru na watu ya bone la ufa tafadhali hii watu wamekwama wametatiza huyu naibu wa rais na sisi wamekwama wamejaribu BBI imekwama wamejaribu kila kitu imekwama ile kitu imebaki ni kufuruga amani katika bonde la ufa hii maneno mnaona ya kumtesa naibu wa rais ndio watu wakasirike waumizane mtaangukia hiyo mtego mukae kwa amani mupendane na muone na muzae watoto na mufanye biashara na pia vile tumegundua njia ya kukaa na amani katika bonde la ufa pia kisiasa tuweke kura zetu saduku moja na nyinyi msipoangukia hiyo mtego tumefaulu hii safari pahali imebaki ni kitogo na pahali inaweza angukia ni nyinyi mkiangukia hiyo mtego ya kina matiange ya kuchochea watu kutesa naibu wa rais ndio watu watoke kwa barabara kuanze fujo mtakubali mtakubali nyinyi mkifanya namna hiyo itakuwa sawa sawa na inywa ndo nyumba itumegoko Mwegoko? Yeah. Adwaya itu aruna itu ikale na oega. Inyo mutikede maudu mainge mkuwe ito. Na abia. Deti huo? Yeah. Heni ito ndo yo. Idwe. Idwe. Idwe tuli adwa kuhanga. Eh? Tu ikala niye na oega. Tuwe kira tu roya. Na tu mahege tiyo. Na tu ikala niye na oega. Mushoke ite mufa hake oega. Kaide tu kaka. Ne muka fake ite oega. Nega ako hota. Nega ako hota. Governor. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Na to dwali yake ni marenda gukari. Marauga tena mago kadomo tika kaire tukaka. 
Eh? Ni Mungu kanyitirira. Eh? Na Mungu wetu kekaja na Mungu mnyitirira. Eh? Ni Mungu kujitira kekaja. Na heke Mungu gituruma agita kwarama na Mungu kekata. Adu ana kuru estimeha. Mtatufukuzia hiyo mtu. Hiyo mtu ndio mtu ya matiangu. Hii maneno yote matiangu yalikuwa anasema jana mwenye kuandika ni arama. Muta muta mutadiri na hiyo mtu. Kabisa. Asante sana. Niende dake na daino kawito gaidanie. Gaidanie. Karati na. Ni mulio kawishera. Mogokali. Asante ni Mungu awabariki. Asante sana uh, mheshimiwa Rigathi Gashagua. Sasa Mama Miradi, mnajua Mama Miradi ni nani? Omanga. Nairobi. Waka Nairo. Karibu Senator. Bwana asifiwe watu wa Nakuru. Wacha nione mkono Bwana asifiwe. Morega. Mbuya mole. Mrembe. Mrembe. Ah, naona governor umechanganya kabisa. Na furai sana leo naona team ya nguvu ya kutoka Nakuru. Na naona imechanganyika kabila zote watu wote kina mama wasichana vijana na wazee hivi ndio inafaa tuishi kama hasla nation hasla nation haina kabila haina dini imechanganyika watu wote vile mmesikia naitwa Billy Sento Manga mimi ni nominated senator niko kwenye senate kule Courtesy of hiyo ilikuwa jubilee courtesy of his excellency the deputy president william samoe root <laughs> nilikuwa nominated na ndio nakwambia hapa hasla haina ukabila na courtesy ya deputy president na mimi si wa kabila yake mimi ni mama mkisi hapa kusimora muigwete mongi gwete Tena na ngondo ra ba gusi ba le ma le rondo ra ba ntuwa ito ba le ga. Mwongi wete. I'm in the Senate, courtesy of His Excellency the Deputy President. Yeye yeah, yeah, sim Kabila. Na ba ntuwa ito ngo ba tevi. Kera intu ntobu ati ito mo tuali. Tika tobu ati le ro yo yo ne ro yo ito. Na intu buno mo gusi atobeke mo tu. Iwo mwongi wete. Naro goto ngaina, goto tebiere no yo ito nero legali. The other day, na mroche oma bay, ochire kuendos, olio gali oma bay. Uyo oma bay no yo ito. No yo ito. Inkirende togo tebe ligu, eh, tobu ati oyo ito. Nere tali gotene, natali motu wali. Nto kopu ati kege stora akonyeke. Eh? Ntu aruara. Ntu aruara. Osena kimo gote eba. Ntu aruara. Sasa vile nasema kule na kuru. Tunasema governor 2022 ni nani? Na pale kwa senate. Kwanza nasema congratulations. Na kuru it is a city. Jipigieni makofi na kuru. Na yeye ndi atakuwa sasa governor wa kwanza kule na kuru. Ikiwa city. Na alitumobilize kule kwenye senate. Ndiyo na kuru hije iwe vile ilikuwa. Yule governor ambaye yuko huko muliona vile alifanya na hiyo ni kitu ya kuhuzunisha sana. Walichukua watoto wote, wale watoto mayatima, vilema wapi? Si walichukuliwa na kuru. Walienda kuwekwa wapi? Walienda kuwekwa wapi? Kusema ukweli watu wa nakuru. Huyo ni mtu wa out. Huyo ni mtu mnaweza rudisha. Achukue watoto kabisa anachukua kwa street anaweka kwa lori anaenda kuwatupa huko kwa kichaka. Huyo ni mtu anautu. Sasa ndiyo tunasema watu wanakuru 2022 lazima tuwe na nani? Ni mama. Mwenje anaroo ya nini? Ya utu. Muliona hata tukiwa pale na division of revenue. Nakuru ilikuwa kwa inapata. Na huyu mama alisimama na nyinyi nakuru. Muongezewe pesa. 
Na wale wengine ambao wako against wenye walikuwa pro BBI wanasema walikuwa wanataka pesa nyingi kuje kwa account. Tukiwa pale na ile kutosikizana ya e, kupata e, pesa kuja kwenye county wale proponents wa BBI ambayo wanatudanganya wal, wangekuwa na goodwill wangeongeza pesa na hii pesa ingepatikana nyingi huko nakuru ile BBI walikuwa wanasema 35% hata sasa inawezekana without a referendum kwa sababu our current constitution has that provision Current constitution yetu inasema not less than 15% should go to the counties. Na 35% iko less than 15%. Na sasa kama ni wakweli kwa nini saizi wasilete hiyo 35% ndio tuendelee counties ziendelee kupata pesa nyingi? Ni kumaanisha walikuwa wanatudanganya na hii rege na kutuzungusha ndio wasifanye ile agenda 4 yenye ilikuwa ko ilete kazi kwa vijana, ilete mahospitali, ilete chakula watu waweze kufanya agro business ni kushinda kutudanganya kutudanganya sasa raundi hii nadhani hasla si wajinga si tumeerevuka tumeerevuka na tutakuwa ni line up ni UDA kutoka kwa president wetu hasla UDA sivyo tuende kwa madam wetu senator UDA tuende kwa MP wetu UDA naona MP Gikaria tuko na Gikaria Na sasa sisi wote paka MCA itakuwa kwa ni hasla. Aya wacha nione mikono ya hasla, wacha nione mikono ya hasla. Asante ni sana na Mungu awabariki. Aya kutoka Kiambu mheshimiwa wa Moshomba. Karibia dada yangu. Asante sana your excellency the deputy president your excellency nimeshukuru sana kwa sababu ya kurudi hapa ingawa nilikuwa hapa na kwa hii nyumba ya hasla mimi bado nina jaribu kusetu setu simujua nilikuwa kule kwingine mimi ndio nilikuwa naiba ile wibo ya mugadhe kwa kikuyu wanajua mugadhe ni kusema nini Na nashukuru sana kwa sababu watu wetu wa Kiambu waliongea na wakasema pahali wako na nikawasikia. Na mimi nimeingia hapa kwa nyumba ya UDA na Hasla Nation because that is where my heart is. Wana nakuru mimi ni mmoja wenyu, sijui kama mnajua. Mimi ni mmoja wenyu kwa sababu mimi nimeolewa na Ivasha pale ihedu na your excellency na shukuru sana kwa sababu wewe nimesikia wakitangaza wale wanakupiga piga hapa ya kwamba wewe ni mkulima wa kuku na mimi hata mimi ni, ni, ni hasla kama William Ruto hata mimi ni mkulima wa kuku kule Naivasha na ninajua wewe deputy president because you are a farmer wa kuku unaelewa ile shida iko katika kilimo cha kuku and we are very happy because you are certainly going to be the president of the republic of kenya come 2022 and therefore sekta ya kilimo kama sasa tayari uko hapo ndani unaelewa vile chakula ya kuku iko na bakery unaelewa vile wakulima wa kuku wanateseka na kuleta hata vifaranga kutoka nchi jirani unaelewa ile mashida yote wa kulima wa duni wanaendelea kupitia ukiingia hapo kama president i am sure wale hustlers ambao wangetaka kufuata mwenendo wako wale wangetaka kuweka kukutano kukukumi i am sure you are going to have the right blueprint for this country na ningetaka kusema kama vile brother yangu mheshimiwa gashagu amesema nimeshangaa sana ya kwamba Matiangi anaweza enda katika kamati ya bunge kufungua chapter ambayo inakuanga very sensitive chapter ya mashamba na kama wanataka tuanze siasa za kuongea mashamba sisi ndio tunajua pahali kugonga asubuhi na mtana na jioni kwa sababu tuko na maswali mengi sana tungetaka kuuliza ya mashamba 
Na tunajua hiyo chapter tukianza kuongea kuna watu watarudi mashimoni kujificha. Kwa hivyo tunauliza kama tunaongea siasa tafadhali tusiulize maneno ya mashamba. Kwa sababu hustlers dio wengi, hasla dio wako na maswali mengi na tukiuliza maswali hawana majibu. Na mahaslas wenyewe hata wao hawana mashamba. Mimi pahali ni nimetoka Kiambu. Wale ambao wanaitwa hasla hao walikuwa watoto wa maumau. Na matora gagoko marera ga matare ona gasuje mudu agethiko takafuri. Kwa Kiswahili nasema hao mahasla wa kwetu Kiambu, watoto wa maumau. Hawana hata pahali mtu anaweza zikwa kama kaburi. Kwa hivyo tukianza kuongea maneno ya mashamba, mimi wa mushamba, mtoto wa hasla Baba yangu hakuwa na shamba. Mimi sina shamba nimenunua ile nimefanya na kazi yangu sio ile nimepewa na baba yangu. I am ready to ask questions. So stop taking us to that direction because we are ready to ask you questions and we are going to ask you very hard questions. Mungu awabariki asanteni sana. Haya 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 thank you very much wa mushomba sasa tuelekee upande wa Ergeo Marakwet Sijui mnajua nani huko Haya tulikuwa <laughs> eh, Senator hawa watu hawakuwa wameshikanisha Ergeo Marakwet ni nani waliposhikanisha sasa wakachangamuka Karibu leader of majority of the Senate of the people Aya, watu wanakuru wa mjambo Bwana asifiwe UDA Kazi ni kazi Asanteni sana Your Excellency the President uh, Governor Susan Kihika Viongozi wenzangu wenye wako hapa Na watu wanakuru Mimi nimefurai sana kuja hapa uh, nime, Nilikuwa summoned Na um, majority whip Senator Susan Kihika ambaye ni standing governor ya Nakuru akasema watu yako wanakuja leo kwa Hasla Mansion na lazima ukimbie. Unajua excellency mimi nimeoa Nakuru. So mimi ni son in law ya Nakuru County. Yeah. Mimi ni mtu ya Kiptangwanyi hapo juu kidogo, mahali naitwa T. Ukisonga kidogo unaenda tangi tano. Uh, hata ule majority leader wa county assembly ni MCA wa mama in law na muangalisha pole pole ndio uh, 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 nini <laughs> kwa hivyo mimi nimefurahi sana kuja hapa nakuru kuja na watu wa nakuru kuja kukua pamoja mimi nimekaribishwa na kiongozi wenu na lakini karibisha mimi napenda kiongozi mwenye ako na msimamo senator Susan Kika nilijua yeye vizuri wakati alikuwa senator Hapo awali akiwa speaker tulikuwa tunasikia tu kuna mama msumbufu ana ni mkali ako na ukali mingi lakini alipokuja senate nikajua kwamba ni mtu wako na msimamo wiki ya kwanza tu alikuwa ame support at speaker was quizy wa county assembly kumbe kuna mtungine alikuwa na candidate yake ya speaker ya assembly yeye aka support huyu mwenye akokuwa speaker ya assembly huyu alipopita Nikaitwa na watu wengine nikaambiwa tutoe Susan kama wipa toke kwa sababu kwa nini alienda kuzapoti mtu mwingine hata juzi nilipata huyo speaker wenu karibu nimwambie wewe speaker wewe mtu ya kwanza ya kuwa loyal kwa Susan lazima ikuwe ni wewe kwa sababu karibu apoteze kazi yake kwa sababu ya kusimama na wewe na akaendelea kuwa na huo msimamo ya mambo ya mwananchi na msimamo ya Susan sio ati mimi na yeye tumekuwa pande moja pamoja hapana mara nyingine tuko pamoja wakati mambo ni ya Hasla Nation lakini kuna tena siku yenye tulikuwa na mambo ya pesa ya counties tulikuwa sana hata hako ananisalimia <laughs> kwa sababu alisema hii pesa nimeona ya kwenda na kuru billions of money lazima ukuje upande wangu mimi nikamwambia pia yeye hey, lazima ukuje upande yangu tukapikana mpaka tukakubaliana tukaongeza pesa yote ya kwenda Kenya mzima so ni kiongozi mwenye ako na msimamo na msimamo kama hiyo ya uongozi ndio imenifanya mimi nikuje hapa kwa sababu mimi ni rafiki yake na mimi naamini ya kwamba viongozi kama hawa kwa Kenya 
sio wabaki tu wa governor nyinyi mchunga kuwe governor na akikuwa governor lazima afanye kazi mzuri alafu baadaye asonge songe akienda juu kwenda huko juu hiyo ni mzuri ama sio mzuri hata kama we ungetoka rift vale but mbaya tu unatoka rift vale tunge ndiko kuambia wachana na hii governor thing kuwa running mate ya asla lakini sasa bahati mbaya mnatoka sehemu moja kwa hivyo sisi tuko hapa kwa sababu ya uongozi uko na msimamo watu wanakuru tunawapenda mimi nilikuwa huko na rais na naibu wa rais tukifanya ile eh, peace meeting ya 2013 nilikuwa pale na wazee wetu wote walikuja vijana sisi tulikuwa na wamama walikuwa tukasema kwamba sisi tunataka kuanzisha siasa kutoka bonde la ufa ambao itakuwa ni siasa ya kuunganisha wa Kenya itoke bando la bonde la ufa na iunganishe Kenya mzima na siasa yetu yenye tulianza na kuru sio ile ya plus minus hii yetu ilikuwa ni kujenga kutoka na kuru kukuja Kenya mzima Mungu akajalia rais na naibu wake wakaunda serikali ya kuunganisha wa Kenya wote na from 2013 tumesonga kutoka stebu nyingine mpaka nyingine bahati mbaya tulitembelewa na ule mtu wa kitenda wili huyu mganga mganga kazi yake ni 5 minus 10 kwa sababu unafanya 5 minus 10 unapata negative 5 hii handshake yake ya 2018 ilikuja kusambaratisha kazi ambayo rais na naibu yake wameanza from 2013 kuunganisha Kenya mzima sasa ajenda yao ni kupiganisha wa Kenya kutafuta kupika naibu wa rais kupika watu wenye wanasimama na yeye kupika mahaslas ati kwamba hiyo ni kuunganisha Kenya it is a shame it's a shame because tulipoanza serikali ya jubilee mula wa pili mpango yetu ilikuwa ni kuhakikisha kwamba wa Kenya wamefaidika kwa mambo ya maendeleo wamefaidika kwa mambo ya big four agenda wameunganishwa zaidi na tulikubali hata kama wale wako opposition wakuje tuungane kwa kitu kimoja lakini ndugu zangu tangu 2018 hile muungano yetu imeanza kuzoroteshwa na kuzambaratishwa na watu ambao waamini umoja wa Kenya sasa tumekaa katika nchi ambayo naibu wa rais i'm really very sad kwamba kwa serikali wewe na rais mulienda kutafuta kutoka 2013 mulipigana hii mti yangu nyinyi mnaongea kuhusu ni rafiki yangu. Nilijua yeye zamani before 2013 tulikuwa consultants, tulikuwa walimu university. Tunaenda kuomba mtu kasi kidogo akitupatia, tunafanya consultancy, tunalipwa kidogo, tunafanya namna hii hata yeye kuna ingine alikuwa anafanya hata hako amelipwa. Alafu wewe na rais mkatangaza kuwe minister. Akaniambia ah hata ile mwambia rafiki yetu mwingine ambaye ni pia saizi akamwambia mwambie huyo mtu asante sana tutaonana huko mbele na kwa hivyo sisi watu wenye tulikuwa tufanya tu consultants consultants sikuisi ukiona matiangi unasafikiria Yesu alitoa yeye mbinguni direct kuja kusimamia hadi kila kitu ajaomba MCA ajakuwa hata councilor ya anybody, anybody hata kwa university akuwa uasu committee member Alafu sasa anajiweka nguvu atanapigana na wewe. I really feel very very ashamed that in a government that was formed on the basis of uniting the country that cabinet secretaries like Fred Matiangi like Musheru people who've never been councillors they've never even been MCA have the audacity and the courage to insult the second in command in the Republic of Kenya a man who sweat whose strength whose commitment whose courage contributed to forming the jubilee administration and not just contributed a little contributed 50% of forming jubilee administration and then you find someone who is an employee has the courage to go and insult his boss you know niliona matiangi jana akisema ati oh kuna barua iliandikwa kutoka naibu rais office ikawekwa social media at that is not ungwana mimi nataka kuuliza matiangi wewe umeenda bunge hapo umeenda kutuzi mdosi yako at yeye ni mtu anachunga kuku kwani wakati william ruto alikuandika wewe kazi 
huku jua huko kwake sukoi ni mahali penye kuna kuku na wakati alikuwa anajiita hasla huku jua kwa sababu alikuwa ni hasla ule jamaa wa kuku so when his home is guarded because there is kuku ndani na umbwa na nini so nataka niulize mati yangu tu a simple question mpaka mtu akuwe na bank ya pewe security kama deputy president number two, when you go around and you say oh Eh, ati kuna 15000 acres ya yenye ya ADC inachungwa na AP why did you come with the title deed yenye inaonyesha kwamba hiyo 15000 acres it is owned by William Ruto and if it was yesterday about listing security ya VIPs ya Kenya na mashamba yenye wako nao hii wengine wote mpaka shamba yako ile ulinunua juzi ama ulinyakuwa juzi kwa nini wewe ungeweka list hapo useme ya matiangi yenye alinyakuwa juzi iko na security kiasi hii eh? ile ya huyu mwingine wa kitendawili iko na shamba kiasi iko na security kiasi why did you have to allocate because of desperation allocate the deputy president shamba ya ADC na mimi nimesema kama hiyo shamba ni bure hivyo hiyo ya ADC na haina mtu supatia hii waraia wa waende wakawe waishi huko kuliko you allocate an individual because you have desperation we have cheapened leadership in this country to the level where cabinet secretaries have in a time of pandemic in a time of unemployment in a time that we are dealing with economic uh, problems in the country the only discussion that cabinet secretaries are having day and night is to insult the deputy president of the republic of kenya i think that the, if the president means well for this country he must bring order in this government and it is time we start telling president uru kenyatta when did you last have a cabinet meeting cabinet i just could for one year call these people to cabinet meeting and bring your ministers into order so that we can have a country that has a direction where we are going kwa hivyo mimi sitaki kusema kupita hapo mimi ni supporter ya watu nakuru kuna ule anaitwa mnajua huyu mtu anaitwa kikaria Kigari ni rafiki yangu sana. Alikuwa amepotea potea kidogo. Tulipokuja hapo kukampeinia nzuki kuna mabonza walitupeleka mbio sana bwana. Wakaenda kutufungia kwa hoteli ingine hapo kwa huko juu. Nikaambiwa ni watu wa mkono ya Kigaria. Nikaambia Kigaria kweli we hata mimi hata mimi unataka nipigwe. Akaniambia hapana hapana ni ya huyo mtu mwingine anaitwa Arama. So kumbe ya Kikaria na Arama wanajuana ndio huyo akatusaidia aka kutoka hapo. Kwa hivyo niliuliza huyu kwa nini huko na sisi akasema mimi ni jeshi yenu lakini wacha nisifae uniform kwanza kuna stima nataka kufanya connection hapa na pale. Lakini nimeona sasa amevaa uniform na amevaa ya hiyo eh, sio yellow sana eh. Utauliza wa mama wakuambie colors vizuri eh yo dio yelo vizuri lakini si mbaya si mbaya na tunaamini kwamba na kuri yote tutashikana pamoja tupeleke nchi yetu mbele mtafanya susan na kuwa governor lakini sasa susan bado ako na shida moja ana nini ana sit, ana certificate ya UDA so asla mwingine akuja kushindana ye lazima ajikaze hiyo ndio tulikubaliana wakati tulianza UDA Tulikubaliana hapana Susan tunajua hivyo Boss na watu wote alituambia wakati kwa tunaanza jubilee in UDA hii sio ile tabia ya ODM UDA kila hasla ni the same na kama kuna mtu atashindana na Susan watashindana kwanza kwa nomination alafu sasa akishinda kwa nomination bas yeye ndio atakuwa governor hata mimi na hivyo rais nimepata niko na competitors wawili kwa Elgeo Marakwet wanashindana na mimi na nitapambana nao mbaya sana sitaki kuanguka <laughs> yani ni ni baki Elgeo Marakwet na William Ruto ni president hapana lazima nijikaze kwa hivyo asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki Uh, thank you very much leader of majority in the senate mheshimiwa murkomen na ni ukweli wakati tulikuwa london gekari ya siku hiyo ulikuwa umetupangia kidogo 
lakini ni sawa tuliwashinda haya sasa let me go upande wa embu tuko na my sister mwenye anasimama governor huko Sicily Barire na amekuwa MP four times miaka 20 hata mkimuona akiwa mdogo hivi Thank you very much, uh, my sister Susan, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, and the next President of the Republic of Kenya. <laughs> Na wanainchi watukufu wanakuru county. Hamjambo, salimieni kwa hewa, bwana asifiwe. Mimi nimeshkuru sana kuwa hapa siku ya leo. Kuongea na nyinyi watu wanakuru kwa sababu Kenya mzima inaangalia vile siasa inaendelea nakuru because what happens in nakuru affects the entire country amaji 2013 tulikuja afraha stadium kuomba mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa huko mapema and his excellency the deputy president and the president wali piga magoti Bele ya Kenya mzima. Na tukaomba mungu atusaidie kwa sababu we had been told choices have consequences. Ati tukichagua hawa watu wawili tujue kwamba tuwe tayari for whatever consequences. Na tukaambiwa they will not even make it to state house because they are very bad people. They belong to ICC and the Hague. But Tulishika Biblia ile mulisikia Mosheru akisema Bible waving politicians. Na iyo Bible diyo ili tusaidia wakati uo. Na iyo Bible diyo ili tutasaidia ata sasa hivi. So for Mosheru kama au kuweko wakati tuliwave Bible, wakati wa ICC utatuzoea. Sisi ni watu wa Bible. That's who we are. And we cannot change. But there's something I want to tell Hii serikali yetu ambayo tulitengeneza kwa mapenzi. Wakasahau hata kurudi afraha kuambia mungu asanti. No wonder we have had serious issues since that time. Because once you give God a promise, you must keep it. But we did not. You know, I had uh, Matiangi yesterday say that Deputy President anapenda sympathy. He waits for moments, opportunities, and Papa Atapata sympathy. I will tell you, if there's a man who has helped the deputy president, Afike Maali Amefika, na support ya wakenya wote, nuyo matiangi, na hii office ya, ya president. Because everything they do, wakifikiria wanamumaliza, wanakuwa nafanya nini? And they should ask themselves, for four years, they have done nothing else ispokuwa kupiga huyu jamaa. Hakuna kitu hawajamfanya. Hata jana, for me it was not a big deal because tumewazoea. They should ask themselves, if indeed what they are doing is helpful, how come he continues to become more and more popular? And if I was president to Uru Kenyatta, and I would like to tell him as a friend, an old friend of his, if there are people you must suck when you are doing the reshuffle to Meskia Unafanya, number one must be Matiangi. He's your biggest, biggest liability kwa serikali yako. Because whatever he does, he takes more and more people away from you. And you must ask yourself why. So kwa nyinyi watu wanakuru, tafadhalini, first of all, keep the peace. Ile tulikubaliana pale Afraha Stadium, Na viongozi wetu, keep it there. They are trying to cause unnecessary tension. They are provoking you every day. Diwe muende kwa street, warudi tena, kusema, munaona, tafadhali, don't fall into their trap. Tumesikizana. Pili, shikilie ni hasla. We must form the next government. And we can only form it if we stay together. Kule embu, tumelok. Uko ni almost 100% hustler. Mimi sijui nakuru kama mko hapo, maali embu imefika. Kwe tuwezi ungea story ya mtu mwingine, 
Wanakuambia hapana, wacha, 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 wacha. Sisi tunajua tunangojea William Ruto. So tafadhali mkae hapo. So we can form the next government, a government that respects everybody. A government that looks at yule mtu wako pale chini like a human being. Na jana wamesema sasa it is now clear William Ruto sio hasla shetani ashindwe. Sisi hasla nation you cannot tell us who is our chief hasla. Ni sisi tutawaambia. The chief hasla of the hasla nation in Kenya is William Samoe Ruto. Mupende musipende. And by the way the fact that he has some property does not change him from being a hasla. In fact, he's an inspiration kwamba unaweza toka pale chini na ufike kiwango gani hiyo. So it doesn't mean at because sisi ni mahasla hatutawahi saidika. Nyinyi ndio mtasaidika kwani mlizaliwa vile hatukuzaliwa. Kamwe yao. Ndivyo mwembe anauliza kamwe yao. Kwani nyinyi ndio kina nani? Munafikiria nyinyi ndio mlizaliwa kuliko wengine? So we shall have a government that will give opportunity to every single Kenyan. That is what we want. Finally, in order to change this country, we need to put women in leadership. We need serious women, women with a stand, strong, courageous, and brave women. And you'll agree with me, katika hii hasla nation, viongozi wale wambunge, kama kuna watu wamesimama na deputy president ni wamama. Hata siku ile ya BBI tukusema yes and no, wale waliangusha hasla ni wanaume. Sisi kina mama sisi wote tulisema no bila kuoga. So tafadhali mimi nataka kuwaomba. Huyu sista yangu Susan Keheka ni jamba. Ni ndoe. Ni ndoe. Huyu haogopi. Saa zingine anaongea karibu ni mfunge mdomo. Nimwambie utapitia wapi ukienda nyumbani my sister. Hai nyamaza kidogo. But it is what it is. We must say as is. Amaji, kwa hivyo mkifikiria mambo ya uongozi wa Nakuru County. Hapa. Hapa. Hapa amtakuwa mmekosea. And I want to tell you when we get to women hapo kwa council of governors. Susan ako hapo, mimi mbarire. Nitakuwa hapo na yeye. Simunipigie makofi. Tutakuwa na akina ngereshe, tutakuwa na akina Isha Jumwa, akina Soipan, akina Faith Getao. Sio itakuwa kogu mzuri. Hata story zingine wanaletanga tutaoenda na tumalize haraka. And then we'll have close contact with our president William Ruto. Si mambo itaenda mzuri jameni. So tafadhali mumushikilie ni mama mzuri, mama shupavu na ndukago wa we my sister. Hata wengine wanasema wanakuja Mwambie come baby, come. Tutawamalizia hapo tu kwa nomination. Nama kuna kitu ingine. Tutaenda na kuraze tu jameni. So don't worry. We hang in there. And Deputy President, I have one last thing to tell you. You've been through so much. My friend, you've been through so much. Sometimes I look at you and wonder even how you wake up. Na unamuka kuenda wapi. Sometimes me, if I were you, vile nitashika blanketi nione mchana imefika nitaangalia hivi nirudi tena nilale because i don't know where i'm going because of problems around me but the courage you have shown us is what makes us us wake up in the morning and say ata kesho ni siku so your excellency hang in there and i want you to know the reason they are all fighting you the reason they are all ganging up is because you are the strongest in this country today. And they know, they know without a shred of doubt that you are the next president. I have one last thing to tell you. My friend, you are not the first interior minister. Tumeona wengi bele yako walikuata more powerful than you. But remember one thing. Ata tulikuwa na michuki. Tulikuwa na saitoti wakati ule. Tulikuwa na kina sunkuli wakati wakanu. 
But I have one thing to tell you, Matiangi. Anytime you are in a position of power, remember there will be a day you will exit. And your day is becoming closer and closer and closer. Tafadhali, leave a bridge between you and us. Because ukiteremuka, utatupata. Utatupata. So please treat us with some level of respect, like human beings. Dio tukikutana kwa street, tuweze kusalimiana. Because your day, Matiangi, is coming in a very short time. Asante ni sana mubarikiwe. Thank you, my sister says. Na pia tunakuombea ukiwa upande wa embu. Sasa tukona Senator, uh, former Senator Kutoka Mombasa, Senator Hassan Omar. Watu wanakuru, assalamu alaikum. Wanayesu asifiwe. Rais watano wa Jarumuhuri ya Kenya, William Samoe Ruto. Wa Kenya wote ambao wako hapa. Yangu yatakuwa ni mawili tu. Mimi pia nasimama ugavana Mombasa. Lakini mwanzo nataka kumuombea dada yangu wanakuru. Susan Kihika. Susan ameonesha bidii yake na imani yake ya chama cha UDA kwa vile nakuru leo in the highest number of registered members of UDA. Na sisi ambao tunajaribu kufukuzana naye, mwisho tulisema tumuache, tutafute wale wako karibu. That shows her commitment to the party and her commitment to victory. Na sisi tunawaomba sana kama vuguvugu la Hasla Nation. Pale tutapata mama ambaye anaweza kusimama kivyake. Sisi lazima tushirikiane naye. Siku moja nilisema Sisi tutahakikisha mamama wengi wamechaguliwa ndani ya Hasla Nation. It is the only way we can achieve the gender rule without having to amend the constitution. Kwa hivyo tuache zile kasumba zetu za zamani. Ati sijui mama kazi yake ni kumtii bwana, sijui mama kazi yake ni kufua, sijui mama kazi yake ni kupika. Kama unataka mtu wa kukupikia, pana tafuta mke tafuta microwave sio <laughs> la pili ni kuja kuwaomba mimi najua vugu vugu la asla nation ni pale ambapo tuko na kuru vugu vugu hilo liko strong imara na mimi nashukuru sana kwa hayo na mimi nilimsikiza deputy president akisema let us not be distracted Na wale watu ambao wanataka kututua sisi katika mkondo wetu. The Hustler Nation is the strongest movement katika Kenya leo. Na, na William Ruto, wakiungana, wasiungane, tare tisa August mwaka ujao, atakuwa rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya round one. Uru apange, apangue, apange, apangue, wa Kenya wanaongojea debe kumpanga. Hiyo ndio ile tutafanya. Kwa hivyo let us not be distracted. Jana leo nimeona wale Harambe House prefects ambao siku hizi ndio maeditor wa magazeti yote. Ati wanapanga mbinu kujaribu kutueleza William Ruto si hasla. Hakuna siku William Ruto na mahasla wengine ambao wanaongoza ili vugu vugu walisema wao ni maskini. William Ruto na mahasla wale wako katika ngazi za uongozi are saying they came from poverty get that right he he understanding issue iko madaktari wawili ndani ya ile harambe house moja kichwa imejaa maji moja tumbo imejaa maji they just don't get the point alafu wanasikiza watu wale sisi tunasema kuna wale waliokuja kutoka umaskini and they know how to scale the ladders of success they know how to get to the top. The greatest day for Kenya will be the day when a hustler, a man from the bottom, becomes, comes to the top of this nation. It will be an inspiration for all of us. Sote. Sisi ni wale ambao tuko na hadithi. 
Ruto alitoa hadithi alinunua viatu vyake vya kwanza lini when did he get his first pair of shoes and that's why he's thankful to god sisi tuko na hadithi vile mama zetu walivyopata dhiki kutusomesha vile tuliwaona katika macho yao trying to give us hope and bearing our pain and we are here today and nobody will ever stop our ascent wa Kenya watasimama na Ruto sisi tutasimama na Ruto na wa Kenya wengine watasimama na Hustle Nation we have stories to tell stories of success stories of victory maskini akipata mali mwizi maskini mwingine akipata mali handout wao wakitaka sisi tujue mali yao ilitaka wapi tutajua kwamba the founding fathers of this country were the founding thieves of this country Musituletee bana. Musituletee. So sisi mimi mtaachia hapo. Wacha tu. Mosmos. Wacha tu. Nitamalizia <laughs> hapo. Nitamalizia hapo. Na nikuwaomba tu Don't test our will. Don't test the will of the Kenyan people. The Kenyan people are mobilized. The Kenyan people are galvanized. The Kenyan people are united. Inshallah victory is on our way and victory shall be achieved. Mungu awabariki. Governor wetu wa Mombasa ndio huyo. Sasa tuna mama rafiki wetu sana mwenye alikuwa na sisi London kila siku tulikula atia gas na yeye pamoja na kina Ses na ni rafiki yangu kutoka Nyeri mama county wa Nyeri Mokami maendeleo mashinani Watu wanakuru Mungu asifiwe Gaine moega Asante sana Radan muko. Unajua kule Randan wakati wenye tulikuwa tunatafutia duki kura tulikuwa na kibarua kigumu. Mnakumbuka vile tulikuwa tunaiba? Tunashukua, tunaweka. Na hivyo ndivyo watu wanakuru walifanya. Tulishukua na tukaweka. Mimi na waheshimu na waheshimu sana 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 kwa sababu hiyo kazi ilikuwa gumu sana na Kenya yote masho yote ilikuwa na kuru. Mimi ile kitu ningetaka kusema. Our deputy president mnaona zile vita amepitia. Na watu wameongea mambo mingi sana hapa. Ya kwanza ni hiyo maneno yenye ilikuwa inaongelelewa jana kuhusu maneno ya zile vitu wako nazo ama zile hako nazo. Hebu niwaulize watu wana kuru. Mtu akibarikiwa si ni Mungu amembariki. Na sasa sisi tukiwa wa Kenya tungetaka kushagua president mwenye hana kitu. Si tunataka yule president ako na kitu. Kwa hivyo wakati wenye mnasikia asubuhi saa saba na jioni watu wakiongea maneno ya deputy president ni kwa sababu wanajua tukiangalia Kenya mzima kule kwetu Nyeri tunaona our fifth president ni William Samoei Ruto. Na nakuru nataka kuwashukuru sana juu ya e registration ya UDA. Unajua sisi tukiwa Mount Kenya kama mimi tukiwa Nyeri County tumebaki na regadhi peke yetu. Lakini si ate sisi ni wajinga. Ni kwa sababu tunajua kama sio William Samoei Ruto ama president wetu hangekuwa ni yeye ako president leo. Na tunajua ukienda Eldoret ukienda nakuru wakikuyu wako huko. Nema kani maheni kwa mutikari kana gani wate tutimenya kamwekuo na unajua hatukuwa tunatakana tuonekane ati kuna watu wa uongo hapana sisi tuko hapo na hatubaduki ya mwisho ningetaka kuongea na Susan Susan hawa watu wanakuheshimu sana mimi tulisunguka na nyinyi na kuru na duki mlimshagua juu ya Susan ni ukweli ama ni uongo Susan ukipata kiti ya governor sisi maneno ya kiti ya governor tumemaliza tafadhali si si wote watatoka kwa hii team wafanyikozi wote wa county government ya nakuru watatoka kwa hii team 
Tafadhali Susan usisahau watu wanakuru. Kuna mambo mingi sana inaendelea. Na mkiangalia hapa tunaona Mheshimiwa Wagekaria ndio aka hapa peke yake. Mheshimiwa Wagekaria asante sana. Ado ana ikuru mutingoke kuerwa no gutweka governor wanyu. Mushagura Susan Keheka tonwe mutwe tenwe governor wanyu. Na mtu akikuja huko kuambia maneno ya Susan ilienda ikafika Susan has proved anaweza endesha na kuru. Susan amewapigania sana. Ile pesa yote ya Senate, Susan ndiye amepigania na ndio nakuru iliongezewa pesa. Ni uongo ama ni ukweli? Kwa hivyo si Susan anatosha. Mudu akakumwera detoshi ya Susan, mumwelea hejio ni make. Mumere waambie ile kazi hao mnataka washague wafanyie lakini waashane na Susan. Mimi najua juu Susan alikuwa pale akiwa speaker Saizi ye ni senator, hata akipatiwa kiti ya governor, ametosha. Na hata sisi tulikuwa tumesema, kama sio vile Susan, ni razima kue governor, iyo kiti ya deputy president, tugepatia Susan. Lakini, juu watu wanakuru munahitaji Susan, tafadhali tushagwe Susan. Mukirudi nakuru, muende salama, na mungu awabariki. Asante ni sana. Sasa, thank you, thank you so much, my sister Mokami. Enyewe umesimama na watu wanakuru sana. Sasa nina rafiki yangu mwingine yalikuja London pia. Ametoka upande wa kikuyu. Sijui kama munaweza jua huyu wa nani. <laughs> Karibu mwe shimiwa rafiki yangu kemani shongwa. Sante sana governor watatu wa Nakuru, Madam Susan Keheka. Abdana ikuru Morega. Utikia kia idiogu wa shira ine mwadha ni Agosho. Niedele wa Mohonoku. Eona ageruma gyo. Noma tigo keji kia kara inioro nigi ya tenodo wako honoka. Nego karuma kana tiguo. Mimi na shukuru pia kuwa hapa siku ya leo. Na... Niseme pia mimi sio tu rafiki wa watu wa Nakuru. Mimi pia ni mtu ya Nakuru. Nimesikia nimesikia kuna watu wa Mola. Eh, ni moe Alvaga. Moe Dimo. Kwa una kwa guito. Hapo <laughs> eh, hapo ndimo fa mimi ni mtu ya hapo. Hapo Elbagon. Kwa hivyo nikiwa na watu wa Nakuru najisikia pia niko na watu wa nyumbani. Na nashukuru kwa kutembea hapa Haslas Mansion. Nyumbani rasmi kwa naibu wa rais. Hata ijapakua tumeambiwa hapa siyo State Lodge, sijui siyo State House, na sijui walikuwa wamesikia wapi, nani amesema hapa ni State House. Tunajua State House iko wapi, na huko ndiyo tunaelekea. Au siyo? Hii ni nyumba rasmi ya naibu wa rais. So, na ni nyumbani kwa mahasla wote wa Kenya. So kama walikuwa wanafikiria ama wanapanga ati watatoa GSU hapa, mahasla wasitembee hapa, waambiwe hapa ni nyumbani kwa mahasla wote na wataendelea kutembea, kutembelea mmoja wao. La pili kuna wale wenye wanatuhubiria injili ya shetani. Injili ya kusema hasla nation ni watu maskini ni mambo ya kuongea mambo ya umaskini. Tunataka kutuambie hasla nation ni injili ambayo inapea watu matumaini. It is a spirit of inspiration, not a gospel and a spirit of poverty. So, wale nasikia jana wakitusomea orodha, na ataka nikubaliana na mweshimi wa murkomen. Hiyo rodha matiangi ya meleta bunge ya mashamba ya nyanasema ni anaibu wa rais. Mimi nataka ni muulize sababu alileta tu orodha. Bunge ukileta kitu lazima ikuwe supported na documentary proof. So we expect the parliamentary committee that is being manipulated by matiangi and kibisho will do their work in line with parliamentary procedures. They must table evidence ya kuonyesha tunajua sugoi 
hiyo shamba wanasema ni shamba ya kuku tunajua ni ya deputy president hizo zingine za IDC waonyeshe ni ya deputy president kama sio yake watengenezele yeye title wampatie agawie mahasla wengine wapate mashamba lakini sio kutumia bunge and we said it yesterday and we will be emphatic Matiangi, you can abuse the deputy president as much as you want. But so long as, as we sit in the National Assembly, elected by Kenyans, we shall not allow you to misuse parliamentary privileges to come and insult the deputy president from there. We shall not allow you. Now, while let the report, what yo mashamba ni anani, we expect that committee will come and visit this official residence. Hii ni mali ya serikali na ya wakenya. Hawa maaskali wanasema sijui miyamoja na ngapi wako hapa, wakuje, watuonyeshe ni huyu, na huyu, na majina yao. Hiyo mashamba wanasema, watuambia askari ni huyu, namba yake ya kazi ni hii, ako stationed hapa. Because that is how parliament operates. You cannot use a parliamentary process to propagate propaganda and insult people and drive political insinuations. Kwa hivyo, na tunawajua, wasikiria atuwajui. Mimi nawambia, heshima sio utumwa. Na kama tumekua watumwa wao miaka mingi, sasa wajue wale wajinga walikuwa watumwa wameerevuka. Maswali tutaulizana. Hayo mambo munasema tusiongea mashamba, Mukitaka tuende hapo tuulizane nani wenye mashamba, Kenya hii, hayo tutaongea. We will open that conversation and we will speak without fear or favor. Au siyo? He. Awa nasema ati uyu naibu wa raisa nafaa kuwa maskini sababu anajita hasla. Tunawajua. Watu wamekua mwalimu ya university mwakajuzi kabla ufanyu ya waziri. Mutu ya kushika chokatu na kufunza wanafunzi. Mwingine pia amefanywa PS. Sababu mmeingia kwa ofisi ya rais. And I say this without any fear of contradiction because I heard it from none other than President Uhuru Kenyatta. Rais mwenyewe ndio alituambia mahali ufisadi imeongoza Kenya ni ofisi yake. Hiyo ofisi ilikuwa na matiangi. Ilikuwa na kibisho. Wewe matiangi tuambie ile shamba mumeiba ya wanafunzi ruaraka, ukakuja kununua shamba hapa kiserian, utuambie hiyo shamba inalidwa na GSU ni ya nani. Waja kusema shamba ya naibu wa raizi ya nyalinunua, miaka mingi lipita ni shamba ya kuku. Unaweza kumdharau sababu ya kuku zake. Wewe hiyo shamba ya wanafunzi ya watoto umeiba ruaraka, ukauza shamba ya serikali. Ukanunua shamba kiserian. Hiyo unalima kitungu. Ama wanafikiria hatujui? Na kitungu unalima na prisoners. Watoto wetu. Wenye mumefunga jela. Ndiyo unaleta kwa shamba yako walime. He? Eh? Nitoa boy? Wewe kibisho tuambia umekua mwalimu ya choka juzi. Hapa university hapa. Kabla mzee wa njohi ya kutoa university ya kupea kazi kwa serikali ya kibaki. Umetoka kahawa we, kahawa, alikuwa naishi hapa kahawa sukari. Nyumba ya bedroom tatu na nusu. Sasa umejenga nyumba ya milioni miatano runda. Ati yenye yuko na swimming pool heated tatu. Unajenga apartments ya bilioni mbili hapa kahawa west. Utatuambia hiyo pesa. Hey. Hey. Kama mko na mashamba mnalima pesa mtuambie. Kama ni kuongea mambo ya ofisadi tutaongea. Kama ni kuambiana ukweli tutaambiana. Kama ni kusema wenye wanalindwa tutasema nani wanalindwa. Na wanalindwa na nani? Mali ya nani inalindwa wapi? Na mkiona yenye inalindwa sana sana mjue ni yawizi. Ukipata kitungui na lindwa ni ya wizi. Au siyo? Eee. Onatopuli to utura aga geruwa. Anatikuwa? Atuwa kituseme mengi, lakini wasitusukume sana. Sindio? 
wasitusukume sana ni heshima tunawapea lakini wajue heshima sio utumwa na hasla nation ni watu wanataka kujikomboa kutoka kwa utumwa wa wale ambao wamekuwa wakitumia kabila zetu kutufanya sisi watumwa kwa misingi ya ukabila tukiambiwa tufuate huyu kiongozi ndiye wa kabila yetu sisi tumefuata viongozi na ukabila tumechoka hakuna watu hakuna jamii imeumia Kenya hii kuliko jamii yetu ya mlima Kenya biashara zetu wewe Matiangi umeua zote wenye walikuwa natoa mali China Dubai mumesema ni counterfeit mkachoma mali yetu corona ikakuja mkaenda Kemsa mkapora mali yetu mpaka Barakoa munaiba watu wakufe aishiaya Meitu yo. Kwa hivyo nataka tuambie wakati corona ilikuja watu wetu hapa Kariobangi Ruai Jiro mkawabomolea manyumba yao wewe Matiangi na Kibisho. You have tested our patience enough. Please respect us now and respect the deputy president that he was elected just like the president was elected by millions of Kenyans la mwisho sababu mimi ni mtu ya PCA member number 39 district naitwa Age Kambura kanisa ya PCA Reverend Musagetao mimi nimesikiza viongozi wa kanisa naibu wa rais wakitisha handshake kati yako na rais Uhuru Kenyatta Nataka niseme Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya has no problem with the President of Kenya. I want to speak to the President of Kenya and ask him to call his cabinet to order. Matiangi, Rais Uhuru Kenyatta ni wewe umemwajiri. Huyo msheru anatuita Bible waving ni wewe umemwajiri. Wale wengine mumepanga kuja kutukana na ibu wa Rais they are employed by the president of the republic of kenya the handshake that is required is just order in government order in government for them to know that they were elected with an agenda to change and transform millions of our people's lives not to impoverish kenyans as they have impoverished us in the last 2 3 years kwa hivyo kama iko handshake inafai fanyike itafanyika ndani ya serikali ya rais uhuru kenyatta We must refocus our attention from William Ruto and the Hustler Nation to the Big Four agenda. Tuliwaambia mambo ya BBI waacheni tuachane na hii mambo ya kutafuta viti tuongee mambo ya mwananchi ya kawaida wakatutukana. Si BBI imekufa. Today I want to say we only have about 10 and a half months to the elections. President Uhuru Kenyatta you have time to secure your legacy in those 10 months by just creating order in your government failure to that i am sorry president kenyatta will leave office a very disgraced man na ni sababu ya wakora na waizi kama hao wako kwa ofisi yake kina matiangi na kibisho kwa hivyo tumwambie rais tunakupenda tunakuheshimu na ndio maana tulikuchagua Tumara ugane gote Unajua tukimchagua tulimpenda wakiwa na naibu wa rais ndio Lakini mapenzi yetu kwa rais ni mapenzi ya kubadilisha maisha ya wakenya sio mapenzi ya kufukuza kubomoa manyumba ya watu kuua biashara za watu na kutukana naibu wa rais mwenye walichagua na yeye si ndio ya ginye haumati kauga ne daruma na thone hiyo kagero garuma nae he mudu daruma ne nyomo uga ne gote ne nyomo uga ogwo 
Eh? Nemukaro kama na aja beno wetu wili ya mruto. Hata wa mtukane na mnagani mutasimama na ee. Mutasimama na ee. Na kuru na Kenya mzima. Na gavana na ikuru ni mokoro kama na kairetu kaka. Nega kinyo. Mutasimama na huyu Susan Keheka. Can you imagine? Na kuru county. Ikiwa na gavana mrembo kama huyu. Niona ni delegate idaka na ikuru. Mwadha ni amura adhime. Kabla baba yao wafike hapa, simama tu and wave. Uh, washira mutonyi, Mr. Washira, simama tu and wave. Wave, wave tu kwa wanainchi hivi. Goja tu, goja tu kwanza tumalize. I wanted you wave. Sawa. Aya. Mutonyi, thank you. Aya. Ni yoko gaidia, ni yoko gaidia mune ne. Eh, mugaidia, mugaidia. Sawa, sawa. Hai, mugaidia. Wa picha ne, kwa bisha kwa kuhu le bisha ne geza. Hai, thank you very very much. Sasa, tu kona rafiki yetu, baba yao, muheshimiwa, gekaria. Sawa. Siju kama mna mjua uja maa kwa hapa nyuma Rafiki yetu sana anaitua Farouk God is good And all the time Mungu ni muema Kila wakati Watu ya mnakuru wa mjambo Tulikuwa tumesalimiana Tusalimiana tulipo toka Kule kwetu Deputy President tulitoka nyumbani Karibu saa kumi usiku Ndiyo tuweze kufika hapa Na mimi siku hapa kusema mambo mengi, niku hapa kusoma resolutions. Resolutions ambaye watu ya nakuru wa meamua, ambaye tutaenda kufanya, lakini kwanza ni jitete, kidogo. Unajua muruko men, na ananijua. Na we muruko men kutoka sahi, ile team tunachezaka na we kwa ya bunge. Unajua mimi muruko men ni striker, and he's a very good striker by the way. Ana yendo wame tufungia yendo top scorer kwa hiyo tu kidogo miaka kume katika bunge. Na mimi uwa ndio na mpe hizo passes. Kutoka sahi, uta wai unazipata kutoka. Kwa sababu ananiaza kuni, nataka kusema kwa, kwa sababu captain wetu yuko hapa ndio deputy president. Sivyo, coach wetu ni deputy president. Na mtu wakipata injury kwa klabu. Siyana enda kutibu injury. Sili kweli? Alafu kisha maliza unawanza mazoezi pole pole. Ala niambia ni mevaa suruari ambaye si yelo ni kweli. Kwa sababu, unapo anza sasa nimesha arudi, nimesha maliza mazoezi. Sasa tuko kwa game. Na nilikuwa nimewe kwa bench, nimeambiwa na coach na captain. Nivae ile bib. Unajua ile bib? Ambaye na valiangwa si nguo uniform. Inakuwa ni ile ya bib ile. Iyo ndio nimevaa leo. Saa zile tu nitaingizo kwa kiwanja. Na ule mtu ambaye na nitamuomba. Deputy President Udisete. Ato ona nijua. Sazile mimi ni mchezaji na kana mnagani. Sita sema mengi ni kwa nataka kusoma resolution. Lakini kitu ya kwanza, unajua jana kulikoko na mjadala kule bunge. Ya kuchagua IBC, IBC commissioners. Na unajua kuna watu wamekua kitu tangazia hapa. Mi hata nilitarajia kuona jina ya tuoli kama commissioner moja. Jina morade mwingi. Wale wanatuambiaga deputy hata kuwa kwa ballot. Lakini mili kuta ni kakuta majina ingini. Hata ni kashanga. Ni kashindu wa kwe ni hapa kudendaka na mula gani. Na ni kashindu kwa sababu. Unajua na nitawambia. Unajua sazile hawa lianza maneno hii ya handshake. Ili shindu wa ni nani ya mepigia mwingine chenga. Na unajua kuna mtu alipeo dawa. Sasi juu kama ni rais ama ni uyu mwingine. Na unajua ukipewa piriton inaandiko one times three. Ha ha inakua one times three wewe. Sasa nafikiria saa zile walipewa, Raila alipopewa kainamisha bahasha. Ikasema three times one. Haka meza bilito ngavi. Haka lala. Hivyo nilikuwa nafikiria. Lakini naona nikama. Sasa sijajua exactly ni wapi mambo imeenda. 
na deputy president au kuambia hivi and this one i want to tell you tunaendaka kila mahali tunatumwa enda usalimie sijui nani enda usalimie sijui nilienda mahali nikaambia nikasalimie lakini ilipofika wewe na nikamwambia na mumesahau deputy president niende nimwambie namna gani wananchi wangu wanakuru waliambia huyo usimsalimie huyo anakujaga mashinani tutamwambia mambo yetu sisi wenyewe and that is what we have done deputy president tumekuja kukuambia kitu resolutions za kwetu ya kwanza ni kama dada yetu vile alisema ya kwamba tumeamua na tutakubaliana na wewe free and fair nomination kwa UDA resolution ya kwanza hiyo ndio ambaye tulikuja tukakubaliana ya pili ni kukuambia kwamba nakuru county is a very special county very 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 special county wale watu wameamka ingekuwa ni kwa kinaishongwa wa kwanza ngekwa kamau wa pili wangoi watatu nyambura waine maina lakini hapa ile mchanganyiko umeisikia that is the nakuru that is the country that you are talking about na hiyo wameamua ya kwamba sisi kama nakuru tunataka tuwe na a peaceful election na sisi tumeamua we will be peaceful after before and after the election and we want to ku promise hiyo ya tatu it is about the national party rais oh rais watano deputy president tumeona ukitangaza kila wakati umuhimu wa national party party ambaye si ya kabila party ambaye si ya watu fulani kwa kona fulani ambaye chairman ni kabila hiyo secretary ni huyo huyo sijui organizing secretary tunataka chama ambaye ina and nakuru is the best place ya kuanzisha chama ambaye ni UDA ambaye ulianzisha which is a national party that has no tribe has no race has no color has no hata uwe unakaa namna gani we resonate on one thing the hasla nation na hiyo ndiyo kitu nakuru tunakuambia the way unaelelea kutusaidia kulete national party hivyo ndio tunataka na tungependa wenzako na vile nimesikia ukiambiwa wakikuja hapa wakaribishe mudavadi akikuja karibisha yeye kalonzo akikuja because we want to move with everyone kwa hivyo nakuru tume tume resolve that we will have a national party sasa hii ni ile critical tunaenda si ndio hii si mambo ya kura manini ya, ya kwangu yangu unajua mimi nitajipanga na deputy mimi ujipanga na utaona nitajipanga tu wewe ngoja wewe nipatie tu the last 15 minutes nianze sasa kwa hii game yetu ya tatu kabla tujafika ya kumi, utaona tumeamua kama nakuru county ya kwamba governor wa kwanza wa jinsia ya kike ni Susan Keheka ambaye tunamtambua wangapi wanakubaliana na hiyo asante sana ya pili tumeamua ya kwamba chama ni UD UD sasa tunataka tuende kwa hiyo si ndio UDA bana atusikii sauti tunataka wale watu wako hiyo annex oh si annex hiyo mahali ingine wasikie UDA UDA kazi ni kazi kazi ni kazi na alama yetu ni nini alama ni nini hiyo ndio resolution ya nne ya mwisho na hii nataka tusimame eh yeah. Wewe deputy tulia tu hapo. Tulia. Resolution yetu ya mwisho ni kusema the party leader wa UDA. The party leader wa UDA ni nani? The party leader wa UDA ni nani? Hebu tuoneshane kwa ishara ya mikono. Asanteni sana. Haya tuketi. Thank you very much. Ya mwisho siwezi kosa kusimamisha msichana na nipigaga jeki kidogo. Eh uwanja simama.
Unajua His Excellency this lady tumekuwa naye kwa muda mrefu. Na ananiambia ah simama tu hapo sikuja hapo. Uh, huu mama unasikia unasema mama mboga. Sasa huyu ndio mama mboga mwenyewe. Anafanya kazi sokoni ya kuuza hiyo kazi ya mboga. Na hiyo narrative tumebadilisha lugha ya siasa hapa Kenya. Si watu wanaongea lugha yenye rais uh, deputy president anaongea ya kwamba ni lazima tubadilishe hii narrative. Na huyu mama wa mboga amekubaliana kabisa anataka kukusalimia tu anaitwa Wanja. So ya mwisho ni kusema eh eh oh Aya kuna kaka kijana kako hapa nimeambiwa aya simama edi salimia salimia mdosi His Excellency huyo ndio MCA wa kwangu lakini nimemwambia na yeye aoe hii maneno ana bibi hii miaka yote amekaa atavute bibi aoe sivyo so ni sema ni asante sana mheshimiwa deputy president mimi sikuwa na mambo mingi ni kusoma resolutions za nakuru na tunakuomba deputy president unapoanza ile safari kwa sababu bado saa hii ni warm up bado hamjaona rais deputy president akifanya the fifth president akianza siasa lakini tunakuomba ukianza tunakuomba let afraha stadium afraha ground pahali mlibadilishiana makofia na rais uh, Kenyatta tunakuomba make that the first place utakapoanza siasa zako za urais asanteni sana na nichukue nafasi hii pia kukushukuru kwa breakfast poa ambayo tulipatia si ndio lunch ni mimi na Susan tutajipanga si namna hiyo ama mnataka kula hapa hapa ama tukakulia mbele hapa hapa Eh? Ako amejipanga. Eh? Njoa hapa ni hapa ni makao ya hasla nyumbani kwa hasla sivyo? Kwa hivyo asanteni sana Mungu awabariki. Alafu tutakutana mtaani tukikutana pale. Jose nimekusikia na nimesikia. Asante sana. Mungu awabariki. Asante sana. Hata sina la kusema kuzi yote yamesemwa. So for me tutakutana si tutaongea yetu tukirudi. Na ninajua kuna yule mnataka tu kusikia. Sasa wacha kwa heshima kubwa niwaambie tusimame tukumkaribishe his excellency Asanteni sana. Asanteni sana. Asanteni sana. Viongozi wote wenzangu wakiongozwa na Mama Susan Kihika. Ndugu wananchi, watu wanakuru hamjambo. Nakuru hamjambo tena. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Moriega. 
Mulembe. I'm also Ujo Durua. I want to come in Tombo Yamore. Chamge. Ebuni on a tenabana, yes, was if you were Kwanza, Mimi Natakani Chukana Fasihi Nishkuru Mungu, Kwaku Apatia Nafasi, Ya Kuni Tembelea, Natakani Wakaribishe, Hapa Katika. Makao ya naibu wa rais wa Kenya karibuni sana. Najua baadhi yenu mumewahi kufika hapa wakati mwingine. Najua pia pengine baadhi yenu hamjawahi kufika hapa. Nyote mnakaribishwa. Na sio leo peke yake. Mungu akitupatia nafasi na nyinyi mukiwa na nafasi Karibuni tena. <laughs> Nataka ni mshukuru eh, Senator Susan na viongozi wale wengine wote wanakuru kwa kupanga ili tuweze kupata mkutano huu, tuweze kuzungumza na tuweze kukubaliana vile tunaweza kwenda mbele pamoja. Nataka pia ni washukuru, nyinyi ni watu wa shughuli nyingi na mumeweka hustle zienu kando leo mukasema waja tutembele ule hasla kule asante sana karibu mimi nitasema tu mambo kwa kifupi kwa sababu nimewasikiza kwa makini wale wote mliozungumza nimewasikiza kwa makini na vile ilisemekana hapa county ya nakuru ni county muhimu sana kwa taifa letu la Kenya. <clears throat> na washukuru sana kwa sababu safari hii ya kuunganisha Kenya. Nyinyi mnajua tulianza mimi na rafiki yangu rais kule Nakuru. Na tulianza hiyo safari na Mungu akatujalia. Kwa sababu yale malengo mawili tulikuwa nayo pale uwanja wa Nakuru tukiweka mkataba wa umoja wa Kenya ilikuwa ni tuondoe siasa ya ukabila na chuki na jambo la pili tuweke siasa ya sera ya maendeleo ya taifa letu la Kenya haya mambo mawili tumefaulu kwanza Mungu alitujalia tukaunda jubilee ambayo ilimeleta wa Kenya wote pamoja tukashinda kura 2013 tukashinda kura 2017 kwa kuwaunganisha wa Kenya tukafanya kazi nyingi kutoka 2013 pale tumejenga reli imefika kwenu Naivasha tumejenga barabara mnazijua zile za Nakuru imefika karibu kilomita 1000 katika taifa letu la Kenya barabara mpya salami tumeunganisha stima huko kwenu Kenya mzima Tulianza na watu milioni mbili, sasa inafika karibu watu milioni nane wako na stima katika Kenya. Tukajenga ama TTI, na kuru tumejenga technical training colleges tano mpya in the last seven years. So, kazi hiyo yote tumefanya mahali tulitoa baraka ni nakuru ya hiyo safari. Na mimi nataka ni washukuru sana. And that is why Nakuru is special. Because that is where good things begin. Mimi na washukuru sana kama watu wa Nakuru. Kwa sababu ni vile mumetushikilia, muka tuombea, muka tuunga mkono kwa kura zenu na kwa maombi na kutushugulikia. Ndiyo sababu tumepata na fasi ya kuongoza taifa letu la Kenya mahali imefika and i want to say on behalf of all of us who are elected from the president to the mcs tunawashukuru sana <laughs> mimi vile vile nataka niwaambie ya kwamba hata ingawaje hapa katikati kumetokea changamoto na matatizo eh, kwa sababu ya ukorofi ya watu wengine hapo 
lakini i want to give you my assurance kwamba nimeona dalili mpya tena ya sisi kutembea na kujenga kwa ile msingi tuliyoanzisha 2013 kuna ishara mbili nimeona ya kwanza kwa sababu tulipata matatizo na chama ya jubilee ambayo tulijenga tukatengeneza ikawa chama kubwa tukakuwa na wabunge karibu mia mbili, tukakuwa na MCS karibu mia nane, tukakuwa na magovernors na wale wengine wote lakini hapa katikati E, tulitembelewa na shetani na akavuruga chama yetu mapepo ikaingia huko ya watu wa korofi watu wa jeuri na watu wenye kiburi na ikafika pepo ya kufukuzana huyu Susan wakafukuzwa kina Morocco men wakafukuzwa wengine wakafukuzwa sasa ile pepo mbaya ilimaliza ili kanu ikakuja ikaingilia jubilee mnanielewa na ndio mkaona tukaketi chini kama viongozi hawa na ni vizuri niwaambie kwa sababu nyinyi ndio wenye kujenga huu msingi wa umoja ya wakenya na siasa ya maendeleo pale tulianza 2013 so wakati tulipata haya matatizo tukanongonezana tukaketi chini na viongozi wengi na tukasema hatutaki kupoteza ile mkataba ambao tuliweka na msingi tukaweka ya umoja ya wakenya na serikali ya maendeleo kama jubilee imepata matatizo lazima kwa sababu sisi ndio tulikuwa na mbinu na ujuzi wa kuunda jubilee lazima tutafute njia ingine ya kuunda chama ingine ambayo ita replace hii ambayo imeingiwa na mapepo tunaelewana na ndio sababu hiyo tukaketi chini na hawa wabunge zaidi ya wabunge hamsini wa bunge la Kenya tukaketi hapa tukakubaliana hatuwezi kukubali kurudishwa nyuma kwenye siasa ya ukabila na chuki tunataka kuendelea mbele na siasa ya umoja ya wakenya na ndio sababu hiyo tukaanzisha chama ya UDA ili ichukue nafasi yenye ilikuwa ya jubilee ya kuunganisha wakenya wote na wakati tumeanzisha chama ya UDA tumepata ishara mbili ya kwamba Mungu ametukubali tuendelee na ile mkataba ilikuweko ya kwanza mtu wa kwanza kuchaguliwa Kenya mzima kwa chama ya UDA akawa ni mzuki wa kutoka London kule Nakuru the first ever elected person mtu amepigiwa kura na wakenya akawa ametoka Nakuru hiyo ikawa ishara ya kwanza ya kwamba tuko mahali pale tulianza pamoja na nyinyi ishara ya pili nimeona katika registration ya UDA Kenya mzima Nakuru County ndio inaongoza So if there was anybody in doubt as to whether we are building on the foundation of the unity of the country and the politics of issues we now have a confirmation that UDA is the party that will carry that vision into the future. Watu wanakuru mnanielewa? Na ni vizuri niwaeleze ndio mjue kwamba 
mahali pale tulianzisha mimi na rais kwa sababu ilikuwa ni mahali pagumu na Mungu ametujalia hatutaki ile baraka tulipatiwa na Mungu sisi ambao hatukukuwa na hesabu ya kuunda serikali tukaunda serikali Mungu akatujalia tukafanya mambo makubwa ambayo serikali nyingine haijawahi kufanya hatutaki tuipoteze kwa sababu ya siasa duni ndio sababu tukaketi chini tukaunda UDA na mimi nataka niwaulize watu wanakuru kwa mapenzi nataka sisi wote tuungane na tuunganishe Kenya vile tulifanya na jubili, tufanya na UDA watu wanakuru tunakubaliana tutatembea pamoja hiyo safari tunakubaliana jambo la pili mimi vile vile nataka niwaulize kwa sababu pale tuli eh, kubaliana ya kwamba tunataka kuunganisha Kenya na Mungu pia ametuonyesha kwa sababu katika kiwanja hii mahali mmeketi hapa tumeketi chini hapa na wabunge hamsini ambao wamekubali wengine wametoka chama ya ODM wengine wametoka Ford Kenya wengine wametoka chama ingine UDF wapi sote sisi wengine tumetoka jubili, sote tumeungana tukawa sasa ni watu wa UDA saa hizi nikiwaongelesha chama yenye wabunge wengi kabla hatujapiga kura ni chama ya UDA <laughs> muti ya kitandawili akiita chama yake haiwezi kupika watu 80 ile mtu mwingine ya watermelon aweze kufikisha watu ishirini. Ule mwingine wa Sarala aweze kufikisha watu kumi. Leo before tupige kura wabunge wa UDA leo ambao wamekubali chama ya UDA katika bunge letu la Kenya ni wabunge hamsini. Na mimi nataka ni wahakikishie we are determined kujenga chama ya UDA mpaka izidi ile chama ya jubilii tulikuwa nayo kwa sababu tunaamini vile ya kujenga siasa ya kuunganisha Kenya ni kuendesha siasa kwa msingi na chama ya kitaifa ambayo haigawanyi na hewabagui wa Kenya hauwezi kusema unataka kuunganisha wa Kenya na unawapanga katika siya, uh, vyama vya kikabila then you are not serious about the unity of the nation it takes a lot of commitment a lot of sacrifice and a lot of goodwill to build a national political party and any serious politician in Kenya must attempt must work hard if they are serious about the unity of the country to invest in building a national political party however difficult it is many politicians babu tunaamini vile ya kujenga siasa ya kuunganisha Kenya ni kuendesha siasa kwa msingi na chama ya kitaifa ambayo haigawanyi na hewabagui wa Kenya hauwezi kusema unataka kuunganisha wa Kenya na unawapanga katika sia, uh, vyama vya kikabila hatutaki ile baraka tulipatiwa na Mungu 
sisi ambao hatukukuwa na hesabu ya kuunda serikali tukaunda serikali Mungu akatujalia tukafanya mambo makubwa ambayo serikali nyingine haijawahi kufanya hatutaki tuipoteze kwa sababu ya siasa duni ndio sababu tukaketi chini tukaunda UDA na mimi nataka niwaulize watu wanakuru kwa mapenzi nataka sisi wote tuungane na tuunganishe Kenya vile tulifanya na jubilee tufanya na UDA watu wanakuru tunakubaliana tutatembea pamoja hiyo safari tunakubaliana jambo la pili mimi vile vile nataka niwaulize kwa sababu pale tuli eh, kubaliana ya kwamba tunataka kuunganisha Kenya na Mungu pia ametuonyesha kwa sababu katika kiwanja hii mahali mmeketi hapa tumeketi chini hapa na wabunge hamsini ambao wamekubali wengine wametoka chama ya ODM wengine wametoka Ford Kenya wengine wametoka chama ingine UDF wapi sote sisi wengine tumetoka jubili sote tumeungana tukawa sasa ni watu wa UDA saa hizi nikiwaongelesha chama yenye wabunge wengi kabla hatujapiga kura ni chama ya UDA <laughs> muti ya kitendawili akiita chama yake haiwezi kupika watu 80 ile mtu mwingine ya watermelon aweze kufikisha watu ishirini. Ule mwingine wa Seralak aweze kufikisha watu kumi. Leo before tupige kura wabunge wa UDA leo ambao wamekubali chama ya UDA katika bunge letu la Kenya ni wabunge hamsini. Na mimi nataka ni wahakikishie we are determined kujenga chama ya UDA mpaka izidi ile chama ya jubilee tulikuwa nayo kwa sababu tunaamini vile ya kujenga siasa ya kuunganisha Kenya ni kuendesha siasa kwa msingi na chama ya kitaifa ambayo haigawanyi na hewabagui wa Kenya hauwezi kusema unataka kuunganisha wa Kenya na unawapanga katika sia, uh, vyama vya kikabila then you are not serious about the unity of the nation it takes a lot of commitment a lot of sacrifice and a lot of goodwill to build a national political party and any serious politician in Kenya must attempt must work hard if they are serious about the unity of the country to invest in building a national political party however difficult it is many politicians for their corner that is not how to unify the nation the way to unify the nation is to work with leaders from across the political divide from across uh, communities from across the nation so that we can build a national political party where every kenyan irrespective of their community or the region or religion they can feel comfortable and they can prosecute their issues within a national political party and that is what we want to do with UDA and we need your support tunakubaliana watu wanakuru jameni mtatusaidia kuunda chama ya kitaifa si ndio tunataka kuunganisha Kenya na katika chama ya kitaifa ndio tutaweza kuwa na nafasi nzuri ya kuunganisha taifa letu la Kenya jambo la tatu ningependa kuambia ni kwamba eh, wakati tuli kubaliana na nyinyi ya kwamba tuta badilisha siasa ya Kenya iwe ni siasa sasa ya maendeleo sio ukabila sio kugawanya watu sio chuki 
tulipanga mpango wa big four na tukasema awamu yetu ya pili from 2017 mpaka pale itakapofika 2022 tukasema tunataka kuinua wale watu wa chini tukaweka program ya housing ili itupatie nafasi ya kazi milioni mbili, milioni tatu, ya wale ambao hawana kazi tukasema tutaweka program ya kusupport kilimo ndio tuzalishe chakula tupunguze gharama ya maisha na vile vile wakulima waweze kuwa na pesa mfukoni tukasema tutaweka program ya universal health coverage isaidie walio wengi kukabiliana na changamoto ya bei ama gharama ya matibabu hospitalini ambayo ina e, umiza wananchi wengi wengi wanauza mali yao kwa sababu ya kulipa madeni ya hospitali tukasema tutajenga bima ya kitaifa ya afya ambayo itashughulikia ita wakenya wote na hiyo mipango yote ilikuwa ni katika hali ya kuinua wale walio chini ndio tuweze kutembea safari tukiwa pamoja bahati mbaya tena tukapata ajali kukatokea rege na kukatokea kitu inaitwa BBI Mimi mnanielewa eh? So wakati hii ajali ilifika sasa ile program ya housing ambayo ingepatia plumbers, masons, carpenters nani nani wao watu wadogo kazi ikasemekana hiyo sio priority tusimamishe kwanza twende tutengeneza katiba ipatikane kiti ya prime minister na deputy na nafasi ingine ya uongozi hapo mbili tatu hapo na tugawane mamlaka alafu turudi hapa kwa mahasla sasa hiyo program ikaendelea tukajaribu kuwaambia tafadhali tungefanya namna hii namna hii wakakuwa na kiburi mingi na wakuwa na fujo na vishindo na kifua sasa si mnajua vile ilipita huko kwa makaunti ilikuwa inapita na hongo na nini na nini ikisafiri ikafika bunge huko na vishindo na nini na nini ikapita lakini naye Mungu ni nani sio haraka yote mwisho ikasemekana ni unconstitutional illegal null and void naelewana ndio nilikuwa nasema tafadhali tuwe tupunguze kiburi tupunguze hii madharau tuheshimiane ili tuweze kutembea pamoja kwa sababu Kenya hii ni yetu sote ama namna gani jameni si namna hiyo hakuna haja ya kusukuma watu na kifua Hakuna haja ya kutumia vishindo na vitisho na threats, intimidation na blackmail kujaribu kusukuma wa Kenya. Mbona tusijadiliane? Mbona tusikubaliane? Ndio juzi nilikuwa ninasema. Kwa wale ambao wametulazimisha wakati tumepanga mpango ya Big Four ya kazi ya watu ordinary ya matibabu ya watu ordinary ya kilimo ya wakulima ordinary mkatuambia hiyo sio ya muhimu mkatupeleka hii safari ya kubadilisha katiba ipatikane prime minister na vyeo na kugawana mamlaka na hiyo ingine. jameni kama mungekuwa watu wangwana mungetuomba msamaha tuseme tu kweli kwa sababu mumetupotezea miaka ine tukifuata hewa ya rege na hii BBI ambaye sasa ni null and void na four years imepotea hiyo four years saa hii tungekuwa tumefika at least vijana milioni moja ama milioni moja na nusu wanafanya kazi kwa housing saa hii tungekuwa tumekamilisha ile program ya mambo ya universal health coverage saa hii tungekuwa na, tunaongea mambo mengine ya wakulima lakini mumetupatasea hiyo wakati yote lakini kwa sababu hamutaki kuomba msamaha sisi tunawasamea tu 
kwa sababu hatutaki maneno lakini tunataka tuwaambie please good people tukiendelea hapa mbele na ndio nataka niwaambie ndio sababu tunasema safari hii hatuwezi kukubali ati watu watuambie kabla hatujatafuta kazi ya yule ambaye hana kazi ati kwanza twende tubadilishe katiba tuongeze vyeo hapana tunaanza safari hii kabla hatujakubaliana vile tutabadilisha katiba tupate vyeo kwanza tutakubaliana vile tutabadilisha uchumi tuweke housing nafasi ya kazi ya watu wadogo ipatikane kwanza kabla hatujasema tunaenda kubadilisha katiba ndio tugawane mamlaka hii na mamlaka ile lazima kwanza tukubaliane vile tutaweka uchumi katika hali ambapo tunaweza kuempower yule mfanyibiashara mdogo tukianza na mama mboga na wale wengine wote pesa ya serikali itapatikana vipi ili tuinue biashara zao ndio waweze kujisimamia na kulipa ushuru ndio tuweze tutembee pamoja na kabla hatujaongea mambo ya watu viongozi wacha kwanza tuongee mambo ya wakulima tuwapangie vile tutazalisha chakula ya kutosha ndio tupunguze gharama ya maisha kila mkenya aweze kuwa katika hali anaweza kujisimamia na kusimamia watoto wao hiyo ndio tunasema ni bottom up mimi nauliza nyinyi watu wanakuru mnakubaliana na sisi tuanzie chini pale mahali mwenye hana kazi kwanza tufikirie bila atapata kazi na tupange bila atapata kazi na yule wa kufanya biashara ndogo kwa sababu kazi ni kazi tuanze pale chini yule anafanya biashara ndogo tupange bila atakuwa kwa sako bila atakuwa kwa cooperative tuwekee pesa waweze kufanya biashara wasipigwe na jua wasipigwe na mvua wasipigwe na shylock waweze kufanya biashara ili tuweze kukuza uchumi pamoja na mnakubaliana na sisi ya kwamba tuanze kwanza kabla hatujaongea yale mengine tusaidie wakulima wazalishe chakula ya kutosha ndio gharama ya chakula ikuje chini ndio gharama ya maisha ikuje chini ndio tuweze kupanga yale mengine baadaye mnakubaliana na sisi ndio tumesema safari hii kabla hatujaongea mambo ya kubadilisha katiba katiba tunaongea mambo ya kubadilisha uchumi na uchumi bottom up tunaelewana tumekubaliana so ndio tunasema bottom up ni kusema tunaanza kwanza na yule ambaye hana kazi tumpangie vile tutabadilisha uchumi apate kazi yule ambaye biashara yake ni ndogo tumpangie sako na cooperative ili tuweze kumuwekea pesa aweze kuinua biashara yake na vile tunaweza kumsaidia mkulima azalishe chakula ndio tuweze kupunguza gharama ya maisha katika taifa letu la Kenya ndio tuweze kutembea sisi wote tukiwa pamoja tunakubaliana jameni tutatembea pamoja hiyo safari eh? na tusemi kwa ubaya tunasema kwa sababu hapo ndipo tunaweza kuzalisha taifa ambayo kila mtu anajihisi kuwa mkenya nimesikia watu wengi wanajaribu kusema oh unajua huyu eh, hasla hiyo maneno anasema haiwezekani mimi nataka niwaulize si mimi na uhuru kenyata tumejenga reli mpaka imefika naivasha si tumejenga barabara mpaka imefika kilomita elfu kumi si tumeunganisha stima mpaka imefika watu milioni nane mnataka kuniambia kutafutia mtu mwenye hana kazi kazi na kuinua mama mboga ni kazi ngumu kuliko yule ya kujenga reli ah, watu waache mchezo bwana sijui, sijui kama tunaelewana tuko pamoja yes so watu watulize boli tunataka tutembee pamoja hii Kenya ni yetu sisi wote Eh, tuache madharau na kiburi haiwezi kusaidia mtu 
tunataka tutembee hii safari tukiwa pamoja sawa sawa ndio mimi nawauliza kama watu wanakuru kwa heshima tunataka tutembee hii safari tukiwa pamoja tukiunganisha wa Kenya na tukishughulikia wale walio chini tuusi wadharau na tusiseme ya kwamba kuna watu wamepangiwa na Mungu wawe maskini hapana you know we can all we can all be something in this nation tunaelewana tumekubaliana watu wanakuru tutatembea safari hiyo pamoja mimi nataka nikubaliane na nyinyi na mimi nasema hapa kama kiongozi wa hii hasla nation ya kwamba sisi hatuna ubaguzi tunataka kila mtu haki yake ilindwe na vile mmesikia hapa viongozi wengine wakisema mimi nataka niwaulize yule unatafuta kiti ya MCA tafuta na bidii yule unatafuta kiti ya bunge tafuta na bidii na kiti ya eh, women rep na kiti ya governor na kiti ya senator na kiti ya rais tafuta na nini na bidii sisi wote tumekubaliana ya kwamba hii chama ya mahasla hii kila mtu anahesabika kwamba anaweza ile itaamua nani ni bora kuliko mwenzake ni kura ya mwananchi hauhitaji kujulikana na William Ruto hauhitaji kujulikana na mtu yeyote yule mtu wa muhimu sana ambaye inatakikana ujulikane na yeye ni huyo mwananchi hapo chini huyo ndio ataamua tunaelewana mimi na waulizeni na tutahakikisha nimewaambia we will build the largest political movement and party in Kenya and we will build it on the foundation of fairness and equity and everybody is going to get a fair treatment tunaelewana so wale wote mnasimama msikwe na wasiwasi ati mimi ruto hana namba yangu sijui fulani hana simu yangu sijui mimi sijulikani na ule usisumbuke hata kutafuta mtu ya kukujua tafuta ule mpiga chikura huko hata huyo ndio ataamua maneno tunaelewana na tumesema na mimi mwenyewe nimetangaza nimesema yule ambaye anataka kushindana na mimi katika tikiti ya UDA ya kupigania urais anakaribishwa tutaenda kwa nomination tutaamua wale wote ambao wanataka kushindana na eh, governor eh, senator Susan kwa kiti ya governor wasiogope wakuje watamenyana na Susan yule wanataka kushindana na Kikaria watamenyana na Kikaria sisi wote ni timu moja na tunaheshimu haki ya kila mtu wananchi wakishaamua ile mimi na waomba tukishaenda kwa nomination free and fair tukisha kuwa na candidate huyo candidate mmoja sisi wote tukubali ya kwamba asiyekubali kushindwa si mshindani tuungane ili tuweze kusupport yule ambaye amepata tikiti ya UDA tutafanya hivyo jameni we will make sure take it from me we will make sure na tutafanya nomination yetu tukiwa na nafasi ndio kama iko matatizo turudie ikiwa tena matatizo turudie mpaka haki ipatikane sijui kama tunaelewana tuko pamoja mimi pia nataka niwaulize kwa sababu tunataka siku ya nomination hatutaki kugombana na watu siku ya nomination mimi nataka nimuulize kila aspirant ambaye yako hapa na wale wako nyumbani mahali ya kuanza kujipanga ndio ujue kama utapata hiyo kiti ama ama, ama hautapata ni kuanza kurejista watu kwa chama ya UDA mimi nimekuwa kwa hii siasa kitambo kidogo eh? kwa hivyo kama ni kufundisha mimi naweza kuwa mwalimu kidogo sababu naelewa kidogo si namna hiyo kama wewe ni aspirant na hauwezi kupersuade supporter yako aingie UDA hapo sasa uanze kujua umeanza kuanguka ukiona mtu anakuambia ati wewe usijali tu 
Mimi sitaki kuja chama yako lakini nitakupigia kura. Huyo ameku <laughs> amekunyorosha mapema. Vile utajua kama mtu anakuamini ni kwanza aamini ile chama huko ndani yake. Then you can know huyo atakufuatia nini? Atakupatia kura. Na testing ya vile utapita ama kuanguka ni hapo kwa kuandikisha watu kwa chama. Unanielewa? Sasa nikuulize wewe MCA. Iko wapigaji kura 1020 kwa wodi yako. You cannot persuade 3000 people wakuja kwa chama yako. Wewe uko na mpango kweli ya kushinda hiyo kura? <laughs> Sio unaona hapo tayari ume <laughs> umekwama. <laughs> Kwa sababu that's how it works. Hakuna miujiza kwa hiki tu. Uweze usingoje tu ati oh sijui itatokea alafu useme nini tibima alafu upate hapana. Lazima ujipange. Ala si asa ni kujipanga my friend hapa na mrekadi. <laughs> so unaweza kujua mapema kama wewe ni wakupita ama wakuanguka. Just by the numbers ukiona umeregista watu umeregista watu umefikisha watu 3345 hapo unajua sasa unaanza kuweka press ups mzuri kwa sababu unajua hapa mbele niko na niko na nafasi lakini ukizuba alafu mtu mwingine aregista watu kwa jamaa achase kwani unafikiri mtu ataregista watu kwa sababu anakufanyia kazi kwa sababu wewe ni nani <laughs> eh tunaelewana yes Waswahili wanasema my friends waswahili wanasema ukiona vyaelea umeundwa sasa ukiona chama imeelea ujue kuna mwenye mkuunda na acha kuundia wewe amejiundia ala <laughs> ama am, namna gani tumeelewana so na mimi nataka siju, unajua sasa mimi pia as a leader i want to help other leaders and i want to mentor other leaders and that is why i am giving you a free lesson kwamba vile ya kujipanga anza kujipanga hapo kwa chama tunaelewana jameni tuko pamoja so mimi nataka tutembee safari hiyo pamoja na mimi ninaamini kwamba tutafika watu wanakuru mimi ninajua ya kwamba nyinyi mmefanya kazi mzuri na washukuru sana kwa sababu nakuru inaongoza kwa registration ya chama ya UDA. <laughs> Lakini tumekubaliana na watu wa nakuru ya kwamba lazima tujaze watu 500,000 nakuru county. Eh? <laughs> Mtafanya bwana Zakayo? Eh Zakayo anasema tutakaza kamba. Eh? 500,000 ndio tujue tuko na more than 50% kwanza. Si namna hiyo? Kwa hivyo sisi wote tuharakishe MCA nani aspirant na hakuna mtu sio lazima utafute coordinator bwana Nguruna hapana kila mtu anaweza kuregister wanachama everybody. Wewe kona yako pale tafuta hii registration ni online. Panga watu yako wa register watu online. Na online hakuna password ati iko na nguruna ama iko na kitu fulani hapana online is open tunaelewana mwingine anapitia hapa mwingine anapitia huko jaza watu kwa chama panga watu yako ndani ya chama kama hatua ya kwanza as a serious politician tunaelewana na mimi nataka niwashukuru nataka nishukuru mama Susan kwa kutusaidia na mambo ya registration nataka nishukuru wabunge wote wanakuru kwa sababu ya nimeketi chini na wao juzi tumekubaliana sisi wote kuanzia kule eh, subukia bahati njoro molo naivasha eh, gilgil kule kote tumekubaliana sisi wote tutatembea katika barabara hiyo ya kuunganisha nakuru na kuweka watu wote ndani ya chama ya kitaifa ya UDA Tunaelewana jameni? Mimi nataka tushirikiane hivyo na tuende pamoja. Hata huyu Kikaria mnajaribu kumuangaisha hapo. Kikaria Kikaria huyu hana makosa. 
mimi ndio nilifanya makosa nikampanga akakuwa chairman ya committee ya energy sasa kwa sababu yeye alikuwa chairman akachelewa chelewa kidogo kusema unajua sasa waja nipange pange hii kuunganisha stima lakini ananipigia simu ananiambia niko na panga panga hapa mimi nakuja so huyu huyu gikaria ndio mwenyewe so tuko na yeye 100% sawa sawa kwa sababu unajua kikaria kwanza hata apende asipende yeye ni hasla sasa hata kujaribu kwenda kujipendekeza mahali mengine ataambiwa hapana wewe wewe ni mtu juu kali wewe toka hapa sina namna hiyo so mimi nataka niwashukuru sana watu wanakuru na wapenda sana eh hata hii mambo ingine yote mnasikia kwa hii Kenya msijali hii ni mambo madogo tunaelewana haya ni mambo madogo sana na kwa sababu unajua Mungu naye anatusaidia sawa sawa simulisikia kwanza walijaribu kusema oh iko shida hapa ya sijui askari sijui GSU sijui AP mwisho wakasema ati hii makao haipaswi kulinda na GSU natakana AP hiyo ni mambo mzuri but is the problem sio ni sawa so alete AP sasa AP wanaendelea na kazi lakini sasa mimi sijakuwa deputy president last week si mimi nilikuwa deputy president from 2013 yeah. na nimekuwa hapa from 2013 sasa walichelewa wapi kujua ya kwamba sio 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 GSU ni AP lakini mzuri pia wamerekebisha sasa tuendelee sio na hiyo na tena katika hiyo harakati yote sasa wameamua sio tena mambo ya ma security sasa wameenda kutangaza wameenda kunisaidia kufanya life life lifestyle audit eh? na wamenisaidia kasi kubwa watu walikuwa wananiuliza sasa wamefanya wenyewe bila hata ya sheria wamenifanyia unajua nilikuwa nimefanyiwa lifestyle audit na magazeti wakaandika ruto yako na mali hii ruto yako na hii ruto yako na hii naye hawa watu wa OP wamekuja juzi wakaimprove ile ilikuwa imefanywa na magazeti sasa wameondoa vitu vingine hata haikuwa yangu walikuwa wamesema 680 wameondoa hiyo kwa sababu ilikuwa uongo wameondoa boulevard ilikuwa uongo lakini sasa waliongeza ingine kidogo ambaye sio yangu pengine nitawasaidia kwa sababu kwa properties kumi waliandika about 70% ni true ile ingine si ukweli kama ile wanasema at me niko na 10000 acre huko ya IDC mimi sina so hiyo waende watoe alafu tena E, niwasaidie kidogo walisahau pia kuweka shares niko na shares e, 400000 ya safaricom wangeweka hiyo na pia wangeweka kama kuna kama kuna askari pia wanalinda huko wangeongeza hiyo na tena e, walisahau kusema ile biashara yangu ya kuku niliona wanaandika hekari sasa pale wangeandika iko kuku 1200 na wangesema huyu mtu anauza mayai 150000 every day shilingi 1.5 million hiyo wangeweka namna hiyo alafu wangemalizia waende wa, wa bank wajue wako na pesa ngapi na iko loan kiasi gani sasa ndio wangemalizia hapo kwa hiyo lifestyle audit si namna hiyo ndio ikawa mzuri So wamejaribu si mbaya wamejaribu kufanya hiyo lifestyle audit eh, ya, ya William Ruto. So sasa wangeendelea sasa na hiyo lifestyle audit tuende kwa mwingine tuende kwa mwingine kwa namna hiyo. Ndio maana naikae sawa sawa what is the problem? Tunaelewana? Lakini katika hiyo harakati yote ambayo wamenisaidia kufanya lifestyle audit hata ingawaje wameongeza ingine kidogo kidogo nitawatumia barua waondoe na waongeze hiyo shares kidogo na hiyo ingine ambayo walisahau o oh, kumbe niko na shares tena 80000 ya Kenya Airways hiyo pia wange wangeongeza so <laughs> na pia kama kuna askari wanalinda huko waongeongeza hiyo
Hii maneno hii maneno ni mzuri tu. Iko jita gani? Kwa sababu unajua sasa unajua Mungu nasikia hiyo lifestyle load hawako lala siku mbili wakepanga. So unajua saa zingine Mungu anatumia wale watu hawakupendi wakose usingizi wakekufanyia kazi. Kwa unajua Mungu ni waajabu. <coughs> Kwa sababu sasa hii maneno yote sasa imesemekana jana kule bunge. Imesaidia mambo ngapi? Mambo tatu. Jambo la kwanza wamejaribu sana kusema huyu William Ruto si maskini lakini ni hasla. Na sasa unajua tumekuwa tukishinda tukijaribu kusema hii mambo ya hasla sio vita kati ya maskini na tajiri. Sasa hawa wametusaidia. Ndio ijulikane wazi sio lazima ukue maskini ndio ukue hasla. Hasla is a different thing. Na hasla haitakuwa vita kati ya watu maskini na tajiri. So wametusaidia katika hiyo kufafanua ya kwamba huyu William Ruto sio mtu maskini ako na mali na yeye ni hasla kumaanisha sio lazima uwe maskini ndio ukue hasla hasla ni kumaanisha unaweza kupanda ngazi uende juu jambo la pili wametusaidia eh, kwa hiyo eh, maneno yote wamesema jana Sini, ni, nataka niwaeleze ndio muelewe maneno vile ilaendelea vile Mungu anatumia hii watu kutusaidia kwa hii program yetu ya hasla. So, ya kwanza wametuondolea vita kati ya watu maskini na tajiri. Kwa sababu kama mtu mwenye mali kama mimi anaongoza hasla nation. Kwani naweza kuongoza hasla nation ni ikuwe vita kati ya watu matajiri na maskini. Si mimi mwenyewe nitaumia. So hiyo tumeondoa. So there is no war between the rich and the poor. Hustle nation is about something else. Jambo namba pili. Wametusaidia pia ieleweke ya kwamba hii hustle nation ambaye tunazungumzia kama wa Kenya mbali na kukosa kuwa vita kati ya watu eh, maskini na tajiri hii hustle nation inamaanisha ya kwamba Mtu kama William Ruto ambaye alienda shule bila viatu. Viatu yake ya kwanza amevaa akienda form 1. Na ile sio viatu hata ya bata alinunua, alinunua ile ya onyango inashonwa barabarani. Anaweza akapanda kutoka hapo chini mpaka akawa deputy president. mpaka mali yake ikaandikwa kwa magazeti kumaanisha ya kwamba ile tunasema mtu wa chini anaweza kupanda mpaka akawa kitu katika taifa hili letu la Kenya you don't need another explanation ya kwamba hii hasla narrative is about the Kenya of possibilities that a man who did not have shoes and who bought his first shoes when he went to form 1 from a Mr. Onyango can become the deputy president of Kenya and newspapers can carry his story on headlines that is the spirit of the hustler nation that is the spirit we are talking about that it is possible for us to create opportunity and chance for every child of every Kenyan to climb the ladder from where they are today as jobless people that they can climb that ladder and one day occupy an office like that of deputy president because this is a country of possibilities so unaona vile mungu anafanya hii kazi sasa wale watu ambao hawatupendi pale Mungu amewafanyisha kazi hawajalala usiku mzima wakipanga vile watakuja kutueleza ya kwamba hasla nation sio vita kati ya watu maskini na tajiri 
ya kuja kutuambia ya kwamba hii hasla narrative ni ya kusema ya kwamba unaweza kuwa mahali padogo lakini Mungu anaweza akakupandisha sasa hatuna tena muda ya kuharibu ati tunajaribu kuambia watu mambo ya bottom up watu wa OP wametusaidia kuuza program na mpango ya bottom up bado bado mnahitaji explanation nyingine eh bado mnahitaji explanation nyingine so hawa watu wote mimi nataka niwaambie shukurani sana asanteni kwa hiyo kazi mzuri mmefanya hiyo ya security mmefanya imeenda mzuri hii ya hustle nation mmefanya imeenda mzuri hii ya bottom up mmetusaidia explanation mambo inakaa mzuri sasa hii Kenya itaenda hivyo tunataka kwenda hivyo na sasa tunawaambia tunaelewana sasa tunawaambia sasa mpango ya serikali ya 2022 tunaanza pale kwa mtu mwenye hana kazi na huyo mwenye biashara yake ni ndogo tukijua ya kwamba this is a nation of possibilities and we can grow every citizen from wherever they are and they can reach the apex of society if we grant them and if we give them the opportunity through hard work to get there and you don't have to be a son of anybody and you don't have to engage in patronage you only have to work hard tunaelewana jameni tuko pamoja si mimi nashukuru wale watu wa Arambe ya Huzu wamenisaidia hii kazi imekuwa mzuri wamekamilisha lifestyle audit ngawaja wameharibu kidogo hapa na pale lakini wataenda kurekebisha waongeze hiyo wamewacha nje na watoe hiyo ingine ambayo sio sio supposed to be there alafu pia sasa wajue ya kwamba wametusaidia katika ile kazi tulikuwa tunataka tufanye tumeelewana watu wanakuru na unajua hawa watu wote si watu wabaya mimi niliketi chini na rais kufanyia interview huyu Matiangi so eh, katika ile serikali mimi na rais tumejenga tukamwajiri kazi shida tu kidogo amepata ni kiburi kidogo imeongezeka na madharau hiyo akiwacha basi tunaweza tukuendelea mbele kama wakenya there is no problem so mimi sitaki kusema kuzidi hapo mimi nimeshukuru sana tumekubaliana watu wanakuru